Welcome everybody to Roll for Weird. We have a very special episode tonight because, as you'll know, we have a different GM, Creeper Keeper, tonight. I will be keeping all the creepers uh, instead of Dragon Bait for once. Um, and we have the spin-off characters that nice. you may have seen once before. Uh, but we can go ahead and go around the table and just... Um, maybe to just do a quick intro of your character, your uh, name, um, what what's it called, playbook, and uh, maybe anything you want to throw out there also. So, Dragonbait, you want to start it off? Yeah, uh, I play Tabitha Delilah Sampson, and I am the spooky. My dad's a demon, whatever. <laughs> what a, it's whatever. Uh, it's whatever. And, and Danny? Hi, I'm Quinoa Kennedy Brown, but my friends call me Kiki, and I am the mundane. You can usually find me at FunFit Athletics, especially at the 5 a.m. FunFit Burn class. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, down to Kelly. Hi, I'm Kelly Finney. Uh, I am uh, the wronged. I lost people to monsters. So I'm a little bit less chipper, but you know, it's a holiday season. And uh, I've, I've, I've stolen Shadow's uh, motorcycle jacket and motorcycle because someone someone in the group has to have a motorcycle. I have one too. <laughs> Excellent. Oh no, too many motorcycles. <laughs> now you guys have to duel for it. I have a for uh, Gabo. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, speaking of Gabo. Hey, uh, I'm Gabo. And you know, I'm just your friendly neighborhood goblin. Uh, these, you know, these guys like to call me the monstrous, which I think is just downright rude. I'm pretty charming, if you ask me. Plus, I make a goddamn great beef stew. Uh, but yeah, I just hang out with these guys because they're good company. And then last but certainly not least, Don. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm uh, Merry, Merry fucking Christmas. I'm uh, Don uh, Donatello Don Giovanni. I'm, uh, some people call me the crook, but uh, I'm a legitimate businessman. I run a successful catering company, and I can find whatever you want, as long as it's food. Um, I'm a made man. I'm a really fucking good driver. For reasons completely unrelated to criminal activities, I'm extremely good at driving very fast away from things. Uh, I, uh, for some reason, I, I, I have an, an, an enemy in the police force. It's no big deal. They just got a, a bug up their ass or some shit. It's all, it's fine. But yeah, Merry fucking Christmas. I like how you drive very fast away in your catering van. <laughs> I got a fucking Mercedes. I got a Mercedes and a oh, you catering just... van is my business vehicle. A lot of freezes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <clears throat> well, uh, I think you all are usually from LA, is that right? I think that's yes. the- uh, yes. Adam, before yeah. you start your story, we have another thing. Are we doing that now? Ew. Yes. Okay. We talked about this. What is Nobody's happening, Nobody's told me we're doing it right off Bullshit. the rip. Bullshit. You should just, like, listen, man. So, um, this year, uh, because we are a new podcast and we love each other, we decided to do a secret Santa with the six of us. And uh, we didn't really have a plan for when we were going to start this, but because this is our Christmas episode, I figured we can open it now because everybody has received their gifts. Yay! We were waiting on Danny. Somehow hers got slowed in the mail. Yeah. Mail. Uh, mm. eh, what happened? It, it, is, it is what it do. So yeah, if everybody wants to open their stuff. Okay, well, mine Gianna is pretty sturdy packaging, I'm finding out. Ooh. I'm assuming that this is my <laughs> gift, otherwise I was shopping in my sleep. Well, it's from Majestic Goose, and I don't <laughs> think I ordered anything from there. <laughs> so. Interesting. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous! What is it, Diana? <laughs> it's a Lord of the Rings clock! Oh my goodness. Oh wow. I have been shaking. Made, it made out of a record. <laughs> that is amazing. Fantastic. Guys. I have been shaking mine thinking it was a box of candy. It was actually two sets of dice. Not Hell candy. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and a card. Oh, candy. You can eat them, you'll just die. I, uh, 
I got these really cool skull cups. Oh, oh somebody knows Dragon Age. We started well. this. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Rather large <laughs> beer stein. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Uh, hold on, the music just got super loud. And I love it. it rather <laughs> macabre what Christmas. Did you get, man? <gasps> oh, sure. I, I got a roll for weird chips. That's so cool. And in addition, Poland's finest honey liqueur, Krupnik, uh, is a delicious honey vodka. Oh. Um, so. Look at how yeah. pretty these are. Damn, that's a giant, a giant sticker. sticker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I don't even get to roll any dice tonight, do I? I got this no. here awesome no. Zelda shirt, oh, yeah. which I really appreciate. Oh, I love it! Nice. And it also, I'm wearing a Zelda shirt right now. Hell yeah, you are. Speaking of big as your head, this. But what do you get? And it's like this sword. It's like a pen knife, but it's a sword. That's cool. <laughs> a very large sword. It time. is cool. Thank you. Who got me these awesome cards? Thank you. So Thank yes, you are we doing guesses or how are we gonna do yeah. this? Um, sure. Uh, I'll let everybody else guess before I guess. I am going to guess that that, that, that mine was Danny. I was also gonna guess Danny. Really? I think mine. I think mine was Danny. <laughs> <laughs> everybody <laughs> guessed Danny. Someone's gotta get it right. I'll tell yes. you, I am. I, um, I use my incredible powers of deduction uh, because I was really lax in. Um, going on Elfster and updating my list <laughs> and Danny sent a very polite message into the chat saying uh, can everybody make sure they've uh, updated the Elfster? <laughs> Danny! Um, to be fair, I was checking everyone's lists and Jeremy didn't have anything either and I don't know that Tiana had much on hers <laughs> or nothing updated. So Yeah, it's been a while since I've done a proper gift exchange. Yeah. So. <laughs> I, I put the pieces together and there you go. So mine was I think mine's good. from Gerundu. That's my guess. Oh wait, never no, mind. It's Adam because like he ruined ruin. it earlier. Never no, mind, ruined. Adam sent it. No, it wasn't me. Really? Uh, you mentioned Georgia, so I thought. <laughs> we are really bad at guessing. Hmm. <laughs> then I'm gonna guess Adam. <laughs> Speak, for Speak for yourselves. I was right. Yes, I was Danny's. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Um, I'm gonna guess that mine is from uh. Grundu? Correct. Oh, fuck! <laughs> nice! <laughs> well, now we're getting down there, and now I think there's only... Does that mean mine came from Tiana? No. What? Nope. Oh, then it's... Dragon Bear. Santa! <laughs> Santa! <laughs> Santa Claus. Santa did it! <laughs> yeah, Santa! No, yeah, I don't know why Christmas in my mind I real. checked you off. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah, so... I, I, I got you one thing off your list, and then I went... I want to get something shadow related. And I want <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look how long the like. The I love it. I know. It's pretty, pretty like, cool. Like you could use that as a legit weapon if, if a steel's yeah, a good. Yeah, like one good use. You got one good stab. <laughs> That's all you need, man. It's, it's like a holdout sure. pistol. So does yeah, that mean Tiana got stab. mine then? I did. Yes. Thank you, Tiana. <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, I, wait. Wait, who then? <laughs> so then uh, the last one would then be Drendu getting Tiana's no. clock. No, we've been no. We've literally no. through this. Right. I've been messing right. with music levels, guys. I got a uh, lot of shit going on back here. Drendu oh. got me my cups. Yes, I think oh yeah. Jeremy got you the clock. I think that's uh, Jeremy. Yeah. It's so cool. It is I very love cool. It. it got shipped around the world twice. Oh my God. <laughs> Judging by the box, I'm not surprised. That thing got kicked to shit before I had to personally me. send it. I taped it up because that hole in the side. <laughs> wow. After he put the hole in the side. Yeah. That thing went to the Ukraine two times. Wow. Why? Well, wow. It started in the Ukraine and then circled back okay. to the Ukraine, and then they sent it straight to me. It was supposed to go straight to you. Those I'm bitches. Worried. Okay. I'm worried that these oh. levels, they keep sounding... It, usually when I hear mega, something mega loud, for, well, it's going to be loud on the stream. So That's if you're watching, please let us know if the music levels get too high. I've been trying to tweak them and get them down, but... so excited about these see. cups. Good. I love them so much. <laughs> I can't yeah, believe I got I... dice and now I don't get to even roll dice tonight. Well, but I'm gonna, to suck, don't But it? <laughs> everybody, I'm going to keep these two dice out. My 2d6s for my Hi. physical roll for weird dice down here, back here. 
dice. Finally. My 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 finally. friend my friend Andrea has a dice company, and when I saw dice on your list, I was like, well, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, um, Tanya says so pretty loud. They're saying that the levels are pretty loud, yep. Okay, so that's what I was doing when it's, when uh, I completely Jesus. forgot we had gotten five people already to say what their thing was. Because I had yep. to go track by track and lower all of these levels of this playlist. I almost said Jeremy. I was like, it's either Grundy or Jeremy. And I guessed correctly. I'm so that's proud wonderful. of myself. So was well, I the only one that was wrong? No, yeah, I, I, no, was, I wrong. was wrong. We had four people say Danny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everyone was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. Daddy. <laughs> okay. Danny, I'm good at gifts. So, uh, Honestly, Danny's was like, oh, it's from Majestic Goose, and it went, fuck it, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Christmas, everyone. Yes. Uh, very excited. That was a lot of fun. Oh, gosh. Uh, and okay, I'm very excited can... for this. Um, so, everybody from Lost... Uh, Los Angeles, not Las Vegas. Uh, you all are spending your Christmas away for the holiday because Preston and Amber, Tiana, what's your, or not Tiana, uh, Kennedy Kiki, Brown. Kiki, uh, what's your last name, Kiki? Well, Kennedy Brown. Kennedy but Brown. But her dad is just Brown. Her mom is Kennedy Brown. Okay, uh, yes. Uh, so Amber, Kennedy Brown, and Preston Brown are treating you all to a vacation getaway in the lovely wintry town of Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Uh, You all have a cabin rented out up in the mountains that they are paying, they are coming with you, by the way, uh, Amber and Preston. And uh, they wanted to treat Kiki. They wanted Kiki to invite all of her friends and go and have a very happy Christmas up in the mountains. So, it's going to be a short one, though. Preston wasn't able to... uh, Thank you so much, uh, Rob Rowling, for the sub. Um, Preston wasn't able to get away from work very long. So, you all are going up on Christmas Eve Eve. And will be leaving the day after Christmas. Um, I guess it's a pretty long journey to Gatlinburg, Tennessee, from L.A., California. So I'm guessing it's probably plane. I was going to ask how you all are getting there. Plane ride. Daddy probably a plane ride, You know that right? Daddy chartered a flight. Okay. Uh, okay, <laughs> Preston uh, chartered you all your own flight. So like a per- like a private jet type deal? Yeah. Dear God. How? It, Good, because there's, it's the there's some jet, things. But... There's a few things I like to carry around that I... Uh, <laughs> Don't want people oh, yeah, to see. My yeah, handgun most, won't make it through security. Most airports don't like Gabo very much because they don't know that he exists. <laughs> oh my goodness! There's no way that Gabo could have gotten on a public flight. Was there? <laughs> no, That's, there wasn't yeah. at all. <laughs> you guys usually make me find my own way, but this was just too far. <laughs> <laughs> we do not. What are you talking about? Well, you guys. I mean, to be yes. fair, you guys like bought me. You did buy me the sidecar, and you guys did buy me the little bike that's like made for ten year olds. But I. You know, it says like extreme on the side or something, but I like <laughs> have that. But most of the time, you guys are like flying. I'm just out. Gotta or it out. you leave two months in advance <laughs> to get on your fucking extreme bike. <laughs> I just imagine one of us claiming you as a son, and then somebody reacts to your look, and they're like, "How it's, dare you?" It's a skin like, condition. It's a skin condition. <laughs> well, this is this is my well, this is my kid. I want to see Keith. That? Yep. I, I really want to see Kiki do it and go just like full Karen on anyone who who dares. To, <laughs> don't who dares talk about to... my boy like that. Exactly. He's a good kid, except when he's out fucking smoking pot with the goddamn trolls behind the fucking Dairy Queen. <laughs> that's okay. My sister takes care of the trolls. It's fine. It's true. Oh god, Wait, that's true. Are all of your siblings coming along too? This is so awkward for fucking Tabitha. Everybody. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sure it's awkward for everybody. It. Oh, I don't no. have any other full siblings. And the half siblings are on my dad's side. And uh, he doesn't bring them around when my mom's there. Okay. Well, because they were separated for a little while. Oh, okay. That's how you showed up. <laughs> the demon baby. <laughs> So, uh, except this, 
I'm gonna I sip this drink and not say anything for a while. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess uh, I I completely forgot how far away you all were starting from Gatlinburg when I started this. So it's <laughs> real fucking far. If we want, yeah, we can far. do a fucking we can do an airplane scene if you no, want. No, we already bought the tickets. They said no cancellations. <laughs> we're going. Let's uh, go. Can I? Can I? Uh, I want to do one thing. I yeah. want the so. I don't think Kiki told Tabitha that the, her parents were going to be there to get oh, her to no. go. And so much like how my friend introduced me to her parents, it was a, oh yeah, oh yeah. and then like, oh yeah, we'll see my mom and dad there. And I was like, oh, are they just there? And you'll be like, oh no, we're going with them. And I'm like, <laughs> what? Sorry? <laughs> Happy holidays. Enjoy what the flight. <laughs> So yes, it is a. Uh, it's gonna be a six bedroom cabin. Um, the all the couches are also pull out couches too, so uh, we can work out the whole sleeping arrangements when we get there. Um, which I think once we get to the airport, um, obviously you all will need to be renting some cars. Who is going to be uh, <laughs> riding up with who? Uh, if we say that you guys all got total three rental cars, who would go with why, who? Wait, why are why we that gonna... many? We could get one giant one, <laughs> and all of or... us could fit in it. I was thinking you of know... the Kiki's parents also, oh, and sure. I was thinking got like car cars <laughs> because they they'll, they would tell you at the airport you don't want to get a big ass van and try to drive it up the snowy mountains. Um, to the cabin. You You're trying to tell me what the fuck to do? <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Carmen guy, you trying to say I can't take a fucking van up a mountain? Uh, sir, I'm just saying it's snowy out there. Well, you the fuck? You can't are, fucking tell me. Give me a goddamn van. van. Give front me a goddamn van right now. Okay, I'll get you a van, sir. Don, Don, Don. Um, we need I'm... we need four wheel drive, so we might <laughs> want to get like an SUV instead. Here's the key, sir. No, Don, Don. Take your fucking keys and get me a goddamn SUV, you moron! It's snowing outside. How many? How many, sir? Well, what, we, what we got here? Like you I don't can... know, fucking ten? Get out! I don't know. Just go get me some goddamn keys. <laughs> you fucking Mr. jamoke. Mr. Preston already booked three SUVs. I was gonna go grab those. Well, fucking, what are you waiting for? You told me to get a van, sir. Shut the fuck up and do your job. Dad, <laughs> calm down. Who are these fucking <laughs> assholes? I'm so, Don, I'm it's, sorry. Okay, it's, Christ it's Christmas. It's Christmas. I'm it's sorry. It's Christmas I'm Eve, sir. Sorry. I'm sorry. Speaking of I wish Christmas. you all the joy of the fucking season. <laughs> get my goddamn go. car. Don, how how did you get your wife to agree <laughs> to you being on this trip? Oh. oh. <laughs> when uh, I guess I, I told her I was on a business trip. Fuck. Is, is that what you told her? So what it, if she calls, should we act like we're talking business in the background? Well, you know that he doesn't get calls, he gets paged. I, I mean, get I, paged. Feel, I feel like his wife nobody calls call, him. Nobody calls. Nah, Fucking nah, Barbara, Barbara told, you told Barbara me last time Barbara calls. would kick my ass, so... <laughs> hey, I mean, this is technically business, you know, in a is, way. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Uh, hey, oh, uh, speaking of... Uh, Where are my pills? ...reasons I don't want to be here. Uh, Kiki, we need to talk. Do we? Yes. Oh, okay. Sure. What's up, Tabby? Don't call me that. <laughs> Does your mom know? I did not mention it to her. I figured that if you wanted to, you could. But if you'd prefer to just keep it quiet, we could... You yeah, how, how is that going to work? Hi, I'm your demon baby. Ooh. Well, I mean, it could make Christmas morning a little awkward, but... You're my friend. That's all that she knows right now. I'm so mad. <laughs> Sorry, Tabitha. You're not. How can I make it up to you? You want to drive one of the SUVs? No, fuck no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay. I barely have my license for the motorcycle. <laughs> keep forgetting you're so young. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to go over um, state lines with that permit. I don't think it counts. 
That's right. You're not or, old enough to drive. Or drive at night. No, or go I am, on the I am, interstate. I am old enough to drive. I'm 21. <laughs> but not old enough to rent a car on your own. 21? You can't rent 25. a car? Yeah, you have 25. 25. Yeah, she's uh, 25. Yeah, I can't rent a car on my own. Um, Imagine also, being like me. I can never rent a car on my own. But also no one you wants me reach to drive because I've been drinking since 8 a.m. No, it's because they try to kill me Jeez. or arrest me or attack me because the way I look. That's disgrace. Fucking disgrace. I've had yeah. someone tell me I'm not real to my face. <laughs> well, that's Were they on cruel. drugs? Oh, wait, still real was, to me, damn it. That was me last night. <laughs> <laughs> After the copious amounts of cocaine I did. Oh, Tabitha. Nick stay on the cocaine K in the airport, eh? <laughs> I don't <laughs> No. I don't have any on me. Hey, you didn't bring any cocaine with you, did you? No, I just brought my assault rifle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real good thing that we're on a private jet, and y your parents own this thing, right? My fucking constitutional rights. If I want to fucking carry around an AK-47 on a domestic fucking private charter flight, How then I you can. get it through? Well, I mean, I we're here now. We made it, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I put parts of it in... Uh, in the plane, and I put parts of it in my ass, <laughs> and then I Ow. assembled it on the plane. What's uh, in our vehicle, Don? Would you like to drive one? <laughs> well, I was, let me just check if I got one of those pile cushions, because uh, <laughs> assembling a fucking uh, Russian <laughs> rifle out of your out of your butthole really uh, takes its toll. Is that why you've been in such a bad mood all day? <laughs> well, it's one of the reasons, yeah. I was gonna say, you already <laughs> ate, and I don't know. Wait, what else? I didn't have any Parmesan on the in flight m meal. Well, they told me I couldn't bring it with, because it's apparently you can't bring that across borders for some reason. Well, it ain't in the Constitution, Parmesan. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> yeah, I'll fucking try. You know, you didn't have to disassemble your gun to get it on this plane, right? No, no, no. You see, because uh, they, uh, they, they're always watching. Uh, well, I, Why I don't I have a cell phone? I managed to get both of my w weapons and my big knife onto this. Uh, you've got all kinds of magic shit. <laughs> Why did you all bring weapons? I mean, I'm always I packing. Never leave home without it. They won't even let me bring my oils and stuff. You always brought weapons? <laughs> Yeah, of course. We're on a private jet, time. man. You could have done anything yeah, you Yeah, but wanted. we didn't go through a private airport. These aren't private people around us. <laughs> Why don't we get into the private vehicles and drive off to the private cabins? I'm assuming Pri they're not private vehicles. Their, we just rented car. them from this place. What are <laughs> you're all delusional? Everyone around me is delusional. I'm still wondering why we take we took three vehicles. <laughs> what two? I'm gonna what pull. Two? I'm gonna pull up the hood on my flash hoodie because I'm supposed to be like a six year old or something. <laughs> yeah. Just like pull it shut so no one can see anything but my green nose. Like I have this green hook nose. And I'm just like <laughs> whatever, whatever. And I like put on headphones. One, one, one for mommy and daddy, and then we split the other one between the five of us. I'm going to look down at my Nintendo hey, Switch. Hey, Gabo. Hey, Gabo. Here. Don't give the boy you that. You brought that in the air. Can we just wait till we're outside of the He's airport, please? He's a fucking grown goblin. Here, take this. <laughs> you can't have open containers of liquor with you on the plane. I do not You're understand. Like... <sighs> Come on. How do you not know these rules? I'm not even a human being, and I know these rules. <laughs> You know, the, the secret is, is to just be fucking really angry all the fucking time, and people just leave you the fuck alone. He's not sure. wrong. <laughs> yeah, how's your blood pressure doing? <laughs> fucking fantastic! Thank you, Gabo! <laughs> I'm gonna go get into one of the SUVs. Fuck this. <laughs> And the Adam's reason uh, Adam's so, job is so easy right now. I know. This is why I guys this is why I didn't prep anything except ask Danny what her mom and dad's name were. I mean, yes, yeah, seriously. We, we were all like, who needs a monster? We'll just we'll just backbite each other all the yes. time. But the reason yeah, Preston did uh book three SUVs is because uh when you're up in the cabin, it's high up in the mountain. And uh the only way um, you know, obviously, like, to get around or get in town or anything, you have to uh, use a vehicle, get down, and um, obviously, Amber and Preston are probably going to be doing a lot of hanging out themselves and probably needing their own vehicle, and uh, Preston probably overbooked just in case you five didn't want to at all times be together. Um, 
fair. And Preston has money to rent three instead of just two, so. Uh, but that does leave us with uh, Preston and Amber are going to take the lead SUV. Um, so we will need to get an arrangement of you five. Well, I'm going to be driving one of these fucking things. I'm in that one I'll, with Dawn. I'll probably drive the other one unless Kiki wants to. <laughs> no, that's fine. Would you like me to ride with you or do you want Gabo? Or both? I mean, I mean, I mean, why not both? Let those two kill each other. <laughs> All right. Sure, that's fine, but I call shotgun. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not lace out, so you can't get there first. <laughs> But I'm also not a goblin, so I could probably race him. <laughs> awesome, I run over. You still got that car seat in here, right? <laughs> <laughs> I got like a booster seat. Oh so yeah, booster. We... <laughs> Where's my fucking booster seat for my kid, you fucking jamoke? <laughs> oh, sorry, Come sir. <laughs> sorry, sir. Here, here's two of them. What's he supposed to do if we crash? I you too. fucking asshole. I'm sitting on like Give a plastic or restaurant booster seat. <laughs> it's like so dangerous if you ever slam on the bricks. <laughs> I, oh, goddamn shame, no. phone books ain't a thing anymore. No, 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 you do not slam the on brakes when driving. Like it's on my throat. Oh. <laughs> no. I really like picturing Don and Tabitha in an SUV together by themselves. <laughs> like, to me, <laughs> that that duo is so fucking funny. What's it like? <laughs> what do you listen so to? Silent. Or anything? Nothing? No music? Well, Don no. will be putting on his uh, Lou Monty Christmas mix. I don't care what he listens to. It's Dominic to. the Donkey. Just on repeat. I have, like. I have my feet up on the dash, a cigarette in my mouth, and a bottle of Jack Daniels in one of my hands. Huh. True Christmas cheer. Uh, uh, why the fuck did, are we here? I don't fucking know. I was perfectly okay with spending Christmas in my fucking apartment. I doing thought what I I'm doing right now. And I'm pretty sure you want to be with fucking Barbara and your disgrace I'm, of a son. My fuck, well, I don't want to be anywhere near fucking Larry. <laughs> but Barbara gets real fucking touchy if I'm not around for like a few days. It's going to be fucking dicey when I go back. The only reason I came because I thought you fucking were going to put some kind of fucking juju on me if I didn't come. What? Have I ever? No, I have it. How the fuck would I know? I don't know nothing about magic and that shit. Uh, I don't, what is happening? I don't fucking know. Your They're goofy sister says, come on to the... F <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, right? And then she doesn't tell us that her mom and dad are going to be there, whose mom is also my mom, but she doesn't fucking know that. Jesus Christ. Ah, fuck. You want another drink? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> we just back and forth this <laughs> bottle. <laughs> How's the other three doing? Um, I'm sitting there with my flash hoodie. And on the restaurant booster seat playing Nintendo Switch. And I'll go, ha ha, final smash, bitches. And then I'm going to look over at you and be like, hey, why are they swerving so much? <laughs> so the caravan oh, sounds like they're it, arguing again, are they? It again. Sounds, it sounds again. Like Do they ever arguing, stop? But they're really just drunk. The caravan again. is um, parents, and then Tabitha and Don, and then uh, really? Kelly, Kiki, and Gallo. Okay. Cool. My feet are literally just dangling, like kicking <laughs> off. I've, I've, I've let Kiki pick the music because I can't be arsed, and I imagine she has a better selection than I do. Oh, How dare you? Well, How dare see, you? the thing is, Kiki is really, really into Christmas. Mm-hmm. But she knows that Christmas really isn't your thing anymore. So... so yeah, well, I mean, she, I haven't celebrated it, but I'd like to not think about that. So put, 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 put on what, what you want to listen to. I think, I think it might help me be a little more cheerful. Really? Okay. Yes. <laughs> so it is all pop princesses singing Christmas tunes. And weirdly, it does cheer Kelly up. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Like, she doesn't expect it either. Not really. She, 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 she's just kind of giving Kiki a bone, and now she's like, huh, actually, I'm in a better mood. Ooh, would you like a candy cane? I've got a whole Christmas. bunch in my bag. I would love a candy cane. <laughs> Do you want traditional or 
I've got cotton candy flavored and a blue raspberry. It'll turn your mouth blue, but it's kind of delicious. Surprise me. You get a cotton candy flavored one. Sounds good. I get like carefully <laughs> pull it off of it with my teeth and stick it in my mouth. So after about an hour of driving, you oh, all shit. finally make it into <laughs> the yeah. I, I, I realized you haven't killed each other. Well, somehow you all haven't killed each other, and also I realized I like don't three <laughs> balls of rum. And what uh, about the cars around you? How many of them? Are <laughs> <laughs> uh, Don's oh. Don's SUV don't may be missing some paint don't, on the don't drink and drive on the side of it. It's not funny. It's not um, no. No, it's, it's not. not. But when you do get there, uh, I don't know how many of you have ever been into a cabin in the Gatlinburg, uh, in the mountains oh. of Gatlinburg. But oh yeah, all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah always. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like. Um, but it really is quite a long and steep drive up, and you really would not want to try to make this in anything other than an SUV in uh, winter. And uh, after winding around and just going up higher and higher up this mountain and your ears are popping from the altitude changes and uh, eventually you all make it to um, following uh, Amber and Preston you all make it to your cabin uh, which is called Almost Heaven but you Uh. see that Amber and Preston start to come to a slow and then put on their parking brakes and you can see why they have stopped because ahead of them, there are flashing lights, an ambulance, and some crime scene tape. Oh boy! Oh. And you see a uh, a woman that's uh, dressed dressed pretty nice, uh, uh, really nice uh, thick coat, um, walks over to their vehicle and starts to um, lean in and have a conversation with Preston. And then, Kiki, you get a call on your phone um, from your mom. Okay. Oh, fuck. Hey, mom. Give us your stereotypical female voice, Adam. Well, I'm thinking... And she is, like, snooty upper class. Okay, so she's not like Kiki. (laughs) No. Okay, I was trying to think, like, how can I do a Kiki voice? Um... (laughs) Uh, well, Kiki, this woman is saying that apparently someone has died in the cabin last night, so hold on one second. And she's pausing and listening to the conversation. Okay, it sounds like they're at least going to upgrade us to an even better cabin due to a cancellation. Okay, yes, yes, is that it? Um, and she just keeps pausing and listening in on this conversation that Preston's having with this woman. Okay, so, uh, you're gonna need to back up and follow us up, and I will explain when we get there everything that's happening. And then she just clicks the phone off. Okay. Okay. Um, I will relay that information to Kelly, that we're gonna have to back up and follow, because... Someone died in our cabin last night. Uh, we're getting a different one, which is, you know, good. That's, that's, um, that's... Died or was murdered? Would, did she say was murdered or just died? She I just said died. Can't remember. Yeah. Because, I mean, there's crime scene tape. That's, that's, why, <laughs> that's why I'm wondering. Because yeah, crime a scene tape isn't... Well, <laughs> I mean, all she said was died, but, you know... You know... Uh, let me call Tabitha and let her know. Okay. So, uh, I call Tabitha. I'll, I'll start, I know like, that carefully backing up. <laughs> no point in trying to call Don. I'll just get his beeper. Yeah, uh, you hear sad trombones go off whenever Kiki <laughs> calls me. And uh, I let it ring uh, for a fuck, little bit. There she is again. And I answer and go, what, what, what? So someone died in our cabin last night? And we're getting a different one, so we're just gonna have to um, back up a little bit and follow my parents. I put I put you on speakerphone when you started saying someone died. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? This is too much fucking heat. <laughs> well, we're gonna get a different cabin. It's fine. Um, it's it's down the hill a little bit. Are the so cops? Just... Cops are there, right? <gasps> well, ahead of us, yes. Fuck. But 
<laughs> well, just, John, just follow my John. parents. Don't get any closer. We're cool. We're Are cool. you not allowed cops. in Tennessee God either? damn fucking cops. Is that He'll what I'm fine, finding John. out today? Is that you're you're not allowed in the state? Oh, is that a thing? It's the, I, it, I, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> oh. Okay, we'll follow you all to the okay. next Fuck. cabin, apparently. If anybody Bye. asks, my name is uh, Carlos Rodriguez. Okay, Carlos. And I hang up the phone. <laughs> He doesn't all right. look at all like a Carlos. <laughs> How are they doing? Are they all right? Um, you know, as much as they ever are. <laughs> okay. Do they, do they know that this is not just one big ass lane? <laughs> <laughs> That's why uh, the just... car in front is, it is a one way. Um, so what they had to do was Preston and Amber had to put their car in reverse, and now they're waiting for Kelly to oh, yeah, reverse, I, 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 and they're I, waiting I, I, for I, Don to reverse. It. Yeah, I've already, I've already put the car in reverse, like carefully backing up, watching watching the the, the backup uh, camera, and like looking over my shoulder now and again. So as soon as uh, everybody is backed up to the kind of main road that uh, this was kind of a branching road that goes up to the driveway. Um, Preston and Amber start to go even further up the mountain. Uh, but God. not, it doesn't take much longer. It's only about two or three minutes later Bless you. that um, they, you all arrive at a new cabin. This one is called Dream a Little Dream. And uh, Preston and Amber put their car in park up by closest to the cabin. There's a couple spaces off to the side. Um, and they get out and start unloading their vehicle. Oh, isn't this just the sweetest cabin? I love it. I bet there's a hot tub. I hope so. It's pretty chilly out here. I'd, I'd, I'd love to ha use a hot tub. That sounds really nice. I fall out of the SUV. <laughs> I go to get my bag. <laughs> oh, yeah. We definitely don't need to tell mom about you. It's fine. I'm used to being the disappointment. Whoa. You're not a disappointment, <laughs> sweetie. Is Don just still sitting in the front seat? <laughs> yeah, just just chain smoking. Stare, stare oh, also, into the middle distance and just chain Tabitha smoking. Tabitha doesn't have any, like, real winter <laughs> thousand yard stare. She doesn't. She yes. lives, she she lives, lives in, in Los Southern. Angeles, don't need it. Yeah, she lives in Southern California. <laughs> so she's, like, in a hoodie and ripped up jeans and a pair of, like, Converse. And she's like, this is bullshit. Oh, you you know that um, that Kiki's gonna come up to you with this really pretty pink scarf and a hat that matches. I will end and pull you. it down on your I head. I will end you. You'll feel better. Come I, on. Sweetie. Why is it pink? Because I love pink. No. Okay, fine. Kelly, would you like the pink set? I would love the pink set. God damn, we're going inside and freeze my fucking balls off. <laughs> and I, I do Take pull out a... Take the fucking scarf. Fuck you. His bag over his a, back and a dark gray set. You went for the pink one first for me? Well, I grabbed what was on top. I don't believe you. <laughs> and I take look, the scarf and I, I also walk in. with the pop of color. No. Jesus. I, I go claim a room. <laughs> so, uh, just from the looks of the outside alone, this this cabin actually does um, look like a bit of an upgrade over the last cabin. Not, not to say that the last cabin wasn't a nice cabin, but this one is um, does look bigger from the outside. Um, so this one also will only have uh, six rooms total. Uh oh. Um, what? Uh -oh. There was some internet problems, but they seem to be okay now. Okay. Oh, okay. Good. okay. Uh, yes, there will be uh, six room in this. Six rooms in this one. Um, obviously, uh, Preston and Amber will be getting the master, but all the other the other five rooms will be up for grab. Um, which oh well, I guess there's five of you. Dang it! I, I was really, gonna say I, there's there's five of us. I, it works. I I don't know why I kind I thought there was I thought there was gonna be more people for some reason on this. Maybe I was thinking somebody had. Uh, siblings or something, and I was thinking that somebody was gonna have to bunk up. So it's you, not as fun. Do you fun. want me to have siblings so that no. we? No, no, no. I don't. Not. Don't give me any more NPCs, please. <laughs> yes, do it. <laughs> Take the room closest to the booze. 
at take all the, of them. I take the room Tabitha's farthest away that. from everybody else. <laughs> there's um on the I say third floor, there's actually four floors, but the fourth Damn. floor is just kind of like one of those like attic nooks. It's yeah. one of kind those of, uh, kind of stops being a cabin by that point when there's four floors, I think. <laughs> Oh, cabin is a very loose term used by rich people. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, that's my. Uh, oh yeah, these. Yeah, my, uh, it, it, it kind of looks like the thing the in uh, Danny's background on her Zoom call background. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's it. it's very it's very large. Each it's of these rooms cabin. are they're not right. like little hotel rooms. They are. They Do they are, all have their own bathroom? No. Fuck. Two of them have a Jack and Jill bathroom. And the attic room does not have a bathroom. Its own bathroom in that. But it's furthest away from everybody. That's oh, fine. You that's totally that's the that. one I'm in. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah, I'll take the, what, whichever room is closest to the kitchen. Okay. Uh, there is a hot tub. Don eats his feelings. Uh, <laughs> there is indeed a hot tub here. Um, nice. There's actually one main kitchen and then a like smaller uh kitchen that's more of just like an oven and a fridge um nah fuck that i want the big one you want the big you want to be by the big <laughs> the, kitchen, big, okay. the big kitchen with this ham and all kinds of good shit that's what i want okay well, i'm gonna be by the smaller one because it's the, it's the chef that makes the meal not the kitchen <laughs> okay ah. <laughs> all right Oh, yeah. There's a game room. Uh, the game room has a pool table, air hockey, and foosball, and a TV with a fireplace. This is gonna Any- be a nice little place. Anyone want to go play some foosball? Yeah. Now that we're finally not driving a fucking car, I'm gonna drink some alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> like like the you, responsible Gabo. You, are. You, 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 you could have. You could have. Never mind. It's all right. I don't think it's legal for everyone in the car to just be drinking while the driver's not either. Who gives a but, fuck? No. Have a Frangelico sour. It just, Don's just been mixing fucking Frangelico sours. I'll, I'll I'll grab one of them from him on my way past. Thank you. Yeah, Gabo, just drink that, yeah, whatever you You're have. welcome. Merry fucking Christmas. Merry fucking Christmas right back at you, Don. Merry fucking Christmas. I know, I know. I'm too fucking good to you people. <laughs> well, I don't know about you guys, but after sitting in the plane and sitting in the car, I kind of want to relax. Hot tub. Sit in the hot tub. <laughs> Maybe see some northern lights? Are we far enough north for that? I don't know. Tennessee? No. 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 Uh, you can get, you, <laughs> you, you have a gorgeous view, though. Uh, oh. You're on the edge of the mountain, so you're looking off down, and you can see for miles... Uh, across these mountains, and there's this no... This festive episode brought to you by the Gatlinburg Tourist <laughs> <laughs> uh, There's no other cabins near you, so there's no light pollution, so you're able to just, like, shut off the lights and just, um, like, even um, Almost Heaven is it was down further, and the road that looped around, there, you can't even see that cabin from your cabin, so... Uh, if so you I guess all... that was uh, Almost Almost Heaven. Um, yeah, you all... <laughs> Uh, yeah, maybe this one should have been called Almost Heaven because it's higher up, but um, yeah, it is quite a view, and uh, the the hot tub is right on the edge, on the balcony that's overlooking it all. And how, like, what's the weather like outside? How exactly? Cold. Very Hard cold. Snow. Is like it's... a lot of snow? Is it just so, kind of... Yeah. It's Jeremy, got... the, the, the weather outside is frightful, obviously. Well, I'm but oh, so delightful. <laughs> The um, fire is so delightful. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's flur- It's just a light flurry that's not sticking to the ground right now. Um, even the roads are mostly cleared. You could, probably could have gotten a van right now up the mountain. But if it snowed any and like any stuck, you wouldn't be able to. But like tonight, fucking, you probably I could. I fucking knew you, it. You probably could have gotten a van it. up here tonight. I knew I could get a fucking van up here. But as yeah, far as the trees, grass, uh, that all has a thin blanket of snow on it. So what you're saying is it's perfect hot tub weather. Mm-hmm. Yes. Nice. Yeah, after Gabo gets his drink from Don, uh, he's going to run back to his room to plug in his switch, change to a pair of <laughs> swimming trunks, which 
have dinosaurs or something on him because he's half the weird size. clothing. Yeah. And then he's going to <laughs> run outside and you guys see just how tiny he really is when he's only wearing swimming trunks. And he's like, first one to the hot tubs, the first one there. <laughs> and he just comes across and he's trying not to spill his little whatever drink because he only needs like two of them because he's so small. And then he's just going to the hot tub. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll go back to my room and change it to the the bathing suit that I brought in hopes that there would be a hot tub. Grab a towel, walk walk over to the the hot tub, slip in. Ooh, it's nice. So I was kind of picturing mm-hmm. uh, sunsetting, but I guess it actually wouldn't be that late for the sunset in in December, uh, late de- late December in uh, Tennessee. So. I mean, like it fucking. <laughs> Where I am, it gets dark at like fucking four o'clock in the That's afternoon. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I guess I it'd mean, be like yeah. it'd probably be like five thirty, six o'clock. Uh, yeah, I but mean, the, the sun I mean, is just, setting. The sun's setting here now, and it's only four thirty here. Yeah, yeah. We'll say we'll say it's six o'clock, but the sun's setting, so it is getting late. So it's probably a night in kind of first night. Mm-hmm. Hot tub. And um, as you all are, is everybody enjoying the hot tub? Is Tabitha getting down in this hot tub? Don't, <laughs> or is Don's, Don's not going in the hot tub without being coaxed. Uh, He's probably <laughs> making sure his gun works. Yeah, Tabitha <laughs> eventually comes down in a bathing suit and joins everybody in the hot tub. Okay. Jeez. Come on, Don. The water's nice. Come on. Yeah, Listen, I brought the good stuff. It was packed in my bag. I p- just pull out his, like, favorite alcoholic import yeah, get, 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 just give me that give me that and then I'm like luring him out uh, <laughs> if I God. have to suffer so do you come on I didn't bring a bathing suit our boxers, boxers. I don't use them They're for cowards <laughs> um I guess this is mine then, and I just walk <laughs> out and get into the hot tub. You could probably ask my dad. I'm sure he's got a spare pair. That's I ain't gross. fucking wearing another man's underwear. That's <laughs> fucking disgusting. Climate bathing suit, but okay. What's, what's the fucking difference? And it's made to go into the water, and the other one isn't. If it's touched, you know, if it's touched, I'm no disrespect to your father. I'm sure he has a lovely set of balls, but I don't want him fucking. I don't want, you know, that kind of ball transfer. I don't need that. Oh my god, why? I knew this was coming. I knew it. I hate everything, and yet here we are. Christmas. Merry co- Christmas, everyone. <laughs> People are probably thinking a way different kind of Christmas Ooh. special tuning in. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't show I make oh, yeah. <laughs> the chat just said social ball bagging. Yeah, if everyone starts climbing in the hot tub, Gabo's gonna Oh. Walk sideways because he's standing to be at everyone the same like height everyone is when they're sitting, and he's like, "Oh shit, fucking jets!" <laughs> a whole different experience for me. I'm like standing up here. I think there's a raised up uh, part that you can sit oh, on if you want to. Yeah, but then it still goes up to like my chin. It's not super comfortable. I don't like drinking all the you know your people water. I think I might have poured a little bit too much out of that. Never mind. <laughs> Plus, Dodd's probably spilled <laughs> half his damn bottle in here. Oh. Oh. Okay. No. Okay. Seriously. Hurt. Kiki. Oh. Yeah. Yes, Tabitha. What's up? Bring to me. What? What? Oh, no, like, so yeah, good. yeah. Sorry. You're like, oh, hey, let's go have a fun Christmassy time. Oh, let me see. Oh, that's like, what we're doing. Oh my God, let's have a fun Christmassy time. <laughs> and here I am with my mom. And at that, Amber walks into the balcony. Ah, <laughs> oh, looks like she was right. That Darcy Higgs. This does look like a much better cabin than we were gonna get. So, hope you all are enjoying the hot tub. Um, 
I don't think I will partake tonight, but uh, I wouldn't mind some company. Well, uh, I'm not getting in the hot tub. I'm a sophisticated man. I'm sure I can be, escort you around the, the cabin. Oh, you want to play some foosball him. right here next to what? the hot tub? Are you a, a, an aficionado to foosball? I hear. Oh, I, oh, I've never partaked myself, but look how fun it looks. <laughs> Foosball's a lot of fun. I'll join you on that. Well, let's foos the ball. Okay, uh, is it um, maybe myself and Kelly here versus Don? Are you up for the challenge, Don? I, I got the fucking arms of an octopus. I can fucking play uh, foosball for 20 people. Oh, I ain't afraid. I ain't no fucking coward. I don't wear boxes. <laughs> Bring it on, Don. Let's play. Don, that's my mom. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's only fair that she should know. Why? <laughs> In case we get down on the real mucky muck. Why, Why? would you get know. down on the real mucky muck? She's married. Because there's fucking cops down the so street. Are you. We don't know what's gonna yeah, happen. That doesn't matter to him. I ain't gonna say about. I ain't saying getting down and dirty with it. I'm saying if in case something bad happens and shooting Did starts. Did you just do me? hand motions for that? What? Yes. <laughs> that wasn't a I'm Italian. thing. It was a dragon thing. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean this? <laughs> How much have you guys been drinking? <laughs> <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> Clearly. Merry Christmas, everybody! Merry I see Merry Christmas. done a regular episode instead of these fuckheads. <laughs> why? Why? Why would you want to put our characters through that? I, I'm pretty sure no one would say down and dirty with Layseth's mom or some shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm a ten thousand year old mom. You, you talked about Silas, <laughs> yeah. mom. <laughs> yeah, but you oh. tried to get the down and dirty with Filbert. That's true. <sighs> There we go. He never, he's never said yeah. they were exclusive. Um, in any case, uh, Amber. Uh, lean. Yeah, that's no, my age. I'll take whatever over. tickle my pickle can get. I'm gonna lean over to Kiki and be like, uh, "Does she know I exist? Like, should I be hiding right now, or uh, like?" Yeah, um, my mom has a complicated. Does she think I'm like history? six? Like, so that's equally weird. Um. In a lot of ways. I mean, she's met demons before, so. Oh, okay. Must have fucked at least one of them. <laughs> Don! <laughs> Did you ever hear that? We're all adults here. I, I, well, I think Kiki and Gabo were... Ki they sound like they were whispering, so I don't know if yeah, Don would have... Yes, we were. Yeah. <laughs> Don has super, super human hearing. Would need to to survive with his wife. <laughs> oh, fuck Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. At that moment, you just hear Don's pager go off. So I gotta, I gotta go. I'll be, uh, I'll be back. Uh, as Don steps out, um, and while uh, everybody's waiting for him to come back for the foosball game, um, Amber starts just chatting a little bit with uh, you all. Yeah, the, that that woman Darcy said that apparently someone had a heart attack in the cabin That's... we were supposed to stay in last night. And, and they then... called the police. I mean, who's a I, crime scene tape? I guess maybe I don't know. Maybe they still got do. I don't know. I don't know. That's what Was she said. Foul play. She said heart attack, and then she said, "No worry. Somebody canceled for this. Somebody was supposed to be here tonight, and they canceled just this morning. So <laughs> it's her I, lucky day." I side glanced to Kiki. What? No, no. Uh, I'm gonna. After we're done here, I'm gonna do something. Oh. So. Okay. What's that? What's that, dear? Oh, no, nothing. Nothing. Hey, do you have any other kids? Did we all just like turn and look at Amber? Damn, Tabitha. What? I'm just. I'm okay. Just no, curious. no. Here's here, here's something that I, the player, need to know. Is there any physical resemblance between Tabitha and Amber? There must be because I don't look like a demon. Yeah. So how much um, does Tabitha look like her mother? I don't think she looks a lot like her. I think there's just a little bit of resemblance. But Tabitha also, like, dyes her hair, has facial piercings, like, all of that stuff. So uh, so, 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 if I were to mentally erase all of that and, like, look at you squinty-eyed, how, how similar would you look? 
not a not a like an exact copy. She would be like, um, I don't know, probably enough to be like, oh yeah, they could be related. Sure. Okay. Um, Just out of curiosity for my own for my own sake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. But yeah, I I just. Do you have any other kids? Do you I'm curious? She doesn't, right? She does not. She's she got stepkids. Oh no, I've I've got some some stepchildren. They don't come around very often. Uh, but other than that, it's just my Kiki. How interesting. I just like take take a careful step backwards so I'm not directly between Tabitha and Amber. Tabitha, would you like another drink? Are you sure that's a good idea? I don't have any other ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm good. I I get up out of the hot tub and I'm gonna walk back into the house. Oh shit. <laughs> um. Well, um, you know, it is getting a little late. Maybe. Maybe Don's yeah. not gonna be back to play that maybe game we'll of foosball. Another night, okay? Maybe, maybe tomorrow night. Yeah, Christmas Eve foosball game. Let's do that. That sounds like fun. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna just head up. Maybe, maybe take a bath and uh, get to sleep early so I can hit the town in the morning. And sounds uh, like a great plan, Mom. She heads back upstairs. I'm, I'm gonna sit on the edge of the hot tub again. Just look at Kiki. So, what was the plan? It was just that we were going to hang out and have a a good time. You know Tabitha. I know. What did I miss? Uh, Anybody die? Not not yet. (laughs) Uh, No, uh, Don missed um, Amber mentioning that uh, Darcy Higgs... Yeah, it said that um, the tenant in the, or the renter, whoever was in, the, whatever that's called, not a tenant, that's for sure. Uh, whoever is in Rent, the, the cabin, um, the renter in the cabin before you in Almost Heaven, um, said that Darcy said had a heart attack. And then um, the person who was supposed to stay in this cabin, the family, canceled this morning. So you all were lucky to get this upgrade for free. And then she went nice. to have a bath and go to bed. While waiting for Don, <laughs> she she gave up waiting for Don taking his call. I uh, had to uh, call the boss, aka Barbara. I was gonna say, is that, is that what you call your wife? Yeah, oh. she insists on it. Adam, while I'm in my room, I'm going to start trying to, uh, I guess, use magic to see if there's any like bad shit around us. Like bad juju in this cabin. <clears throat> okay. Um. Uh. Let's see. So. That would be used magic. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and roll it, and let's see what Hold happens. On. I think it's weird, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, where did my sheet go? Here it is. My weird is... Oh. Uh, 11. 13. You are... What's this look like when you're, when you're trying to channel this? Like, what kind so, of... So, um... I have different, like, um herbs and uh, crystals and whatnot like laying out on the floor of the um, of the room uh, in the attic and I am uh, chanting and uh, channeling my magic through my amulet to m- make sure that there's not any like ghosts or evil spirits or anything in this cabin Anything that's trying to that would try to hurt any of us, right? Even fucking Amber. This music is perfect for that, by the way. Yeah. Yes, you lay out all of your supplies, 
uh, sit down cross-legged on the floor and start to channel this magic and I'm envisioning kind of a kind of like an orb like a sphere around you that's kind of like pulsing out almost uh, as you're trying to track any kind of um, evil or spirits or anything and you're not getting any anything but because we forgot to do your vision I'll go ahead and give that to you here. Okay. As um, you're in this kind of trance, channeling this magic, you see... It's not really a vision of the future ha as you usually get. It seems like it's kind of a glimpse into the past, almost. And you see a cabin similar to this one, a little bit different. Um, you're... You can tell that you're in a cabin just by the, the wood planking on the walls, but this room that you're standing in, it's not a room that's in this cabin uh, because you've been in all these rooms and it just has a different decor than the one that you're staying in. Uh, but even so, you are kind of got this view from the corner of the, the room and you're looking over at this bed and in this bed there's just a single sleeping male and you see a figure materialize out of nowhere and this figure is it looks like a dark black robe over a, a masked face and you can't see any kind of um, any any facial features under the hood at all and it reaches out um, one bony hand and places it on his chest and then with its other bony hand raises up this uh, rather large um, like a one-handed scythe and slices sickle. down like a sickle and slices down the male's chest fuck and then the figure yeah, uh, from a different room <laughs> unrelated <laughs> And then <laughs> the figure disappears <laughs> and you start to zoom out a little bit of the vision and as you're going room to room to room eventually you were staring at the almost heaven cabin and then you break the trance they were not staying there Guess I don't have to tell anybody about that. Oh, fuck. I, uh... I grab whatever, and I go to find Kiki again. Fucking hell. Sorry? Or anybody. I The first person I run into. Don will be in the kitchen just eating a huge plate of cold cuts. And, uh... <laughs> Drink and drink him. Okay. Definitely probably not him, but <laughs> Oh no god fucking Christmas. Oh. I I I think I think the rest of us are still at the hot tub. Okay. Um so I'm dressed in as much warm as I can be for a person from Southern California. I have the hat and, and scarf on at least. Um and I go, um guess what? We have a problem. Oh, what kind of problem? Oh no! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Hey, you fucking crazy kids! <laughs> Merry fucking Christmas! <laughs> you ain't so bad. Merry Especially fucking you. Christmas! <laughs> you want Especially some? Want some ham? I uh, hey Don, guess what? What? We have a job. Wow! Oh, good thing I brought my gun. <laughs> yes, um, yes, it is, Tom. I had a vision. Uh, what, what was it about this time? Yeah, you didn't take any mushrooms or something, did you? No, this is something that Tabitha just does, dude. Come on. Visions just making different. sure. I mean, you guys are always drunk and <laughs> stuff. You brought weapons with you. I don't know. I, I don't do mushrooms. I just do cocaine. Okay. 
Once again, That's you do so cocaine. Better. It's another point. In my does favor. that give you visions? Kids, I don't know enough kids about don't that. do cocaine. No, no I, so I was. I was <laughs> no, no, it does not. I was doing a ritual to uh, make sure there wasn't anything in our cabin that was bad, ghosts. You know how it is. Um, and is there? N- no. Oh, good. Uh, <laughs> Merry fucking Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> but there is over at almost heaven. <sighs> Well, fuck that. I, you know, I mean, we can say fuck that because those people are dead and we don't have to worry about it. Don just throws an empty bottle of whatever over the side of the balcony, jumps in the hot tub, fully clothed. Oh my god, Don! Okay. Um, uh, Merry fucking Christmas. So you, you know, you guys, you guys are the best. You're so the fucking best. The, uh, Especially you, Gobble. You're like a son, like the son I never had. Not like that disappointment, Larry. Yeah, fucking I know that. Larry. That was the whole thing. But then every time you get like this, you start calling me Larry. Larry, I just wish. I just. I know I've been tough on you, Larry, but you you, you need to toughen up. You're not a you you ain't a, you ain't a, you, you're like you're too much like your mother. Don. Don, would you like some coffee? You got clothes on no. your water because you fucking didn't change again. You get in the hot tub on your clothes again. Did you? You, fuck, you think you're better than me? No, let's just say this is why all your shirts get bleached from the chlorine. It's every time. Swimming pool, hot tub, it doesn't matter. You don't even. How many beepers have you been through this month? <laughs> what? Ah, oh, fuck my beepers. They don't even make them no more. That's a lie, but you know. <laughs> um, no, nah, not these ones. These are fucking primo fucking 1990s WWF, The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin <laughs> branded pages. Ooh. Like well, you can't, you, know, you can't get those a, fucking things anymore. We might have a bag of rice in the kitchen. We can we can try that trick. Oh yeah, it'll, I'm sure it'll be fine. I just yes. gotta, I just gotta I just gotta I just gotta have a few more drinks. <laughs> uh huh. Uh-huh. Um. Uh, the the thing, uh, kind Kiki, of... Kiki, your mom's hot. Ew! <laughs> um... You know, I, 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 you know, she's, she's an older lady, but she's still, she's still got it. I... I can see why she'd be fucking demons. Oh my god. Um... Guys, why are we friends with Don? <laughs> why are, why are any of us friends? Let's be real here. He pays <laughs> you... pretty well whenever yeah. he just throws money at us sometimes. <laughs> Um, John, I will set you ablaze with magic if you ever say that again. Okay, Kiki's mom ain't hot. Isn't it crazy how I'm a goblin and I'm not the scariest person in the group? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. You're also so, not the least appropriate. You got okay, drunk yeah, barbarian yeah, over here and then fucking pyro wizard. <laughs> You're a good kid, Gabo. You're a good kid. <sighs> pyro okay. wizard. Um, so there so has to be this, one in every party. So, so this <laughs> this uh, this creature that I saw in this vision, uh, cloaked, skeleton hand, and had a sickle. Does so let's that go sound get this little, bony bastard. Isn't that, that like kind of death? Sound? That's what I was thinking. Um, now so- this, all I can think about right now is Charles Dickens and the three ghosts and how oh, one no. of them is the future and I just had a vision of the past because I think that's what happened to that man put his hand his bony hand on his chest and then raised the sickle well so yeah that's totally just a heart attack and you know death just happened to be there doing it I, is that normal oh tap so the, I, by the way when you saw that um it wasn't like a um, intangible scythe went through and like nothing happened to the body. Like it like cut the body open. Oh no! Oh. It it oh. it straight uh, sliced and diced that bitch. Um, <laughs> I, I, heart attack then, as in his heart was attacked. Okay, I, I gotcha. mean, yeah. Uh, the, uh, did he have a limp? I don't and know. And a sickle was it? Maybe it was those goddamn communists. Because I think it might have been fucking Jimmy the Sickle. I think he, <laughs> I thought he was um, dead. Um, okay. <laughs> but I know he used to operate around here. I, uh, oh, 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 okay. Um, Don, oh, God damn it, man. 
Adam, you're gonna be spending most of the game with your with your face in your hand. <laughs> Same. Um, but here's the thing. I think we should uh, ward this cabin. Just yeah. Yeah, sure. Spells. That's a good idea. Um, mainly because I think you don't want your parents to die. I am indifferent. Um, I'd appreciate that. Yeah. Guys, I'm, I hate to break it to you, but that this shit doesn't work. I know I'm not Wait, supposed what? to break the monster code and tell everybody, but spoiler alert, it doesn't work. It what do you mean it doesn't work? It doesn't. When, there's, when I see salt on the ground, I just fucking move it. Okay, it doesn't You're stop a fucking me. Fucking goblin! Of Ghosts course it doesn't. Do fucking not give stop a fuck. You. They go right through the wall. Oh Demons, absolutely not. They will fucking shred you. Uh, I, I, I'm just or, telling you, these, fuck you. Your, your incense and your oils and your salt don't work. Ask Kiki's mom. I'm trying to save <laughs> their lives here. Okay. Everything right now because so, I'm getting uncomfortable with all of this. I'm breaking three I'm sorry, I'm codes sorry. telling you this. Okay, that's fine, but they don't hurt to try and put them out. It's the same. Yeah, let's just try. I'd rather, you know. And also, those things don't work when you don't know magic. Right. Well, that shit's iodized, and I don't think that salt's going to No, work. I'm not talking about the salt. <laughs> well, then but why do you bring salt. it with you? You constantly bring it. I bring it I told for you spells. It doesn't work. What about oregano? Oh, okay. gonna, oh, God fucking damn it. Okay. You know, the only difference between cooking and magic is one's fucking real. <laughs> Are you hey. fucking kidding me? <laughs> Just saying. I literally Gobble. set people on fire. Gobble, yeah, you've okay. seen yeah, her. But this I've seen Don makes... do that too. I do it with my yeah, mind. If, if you've been to my Don kitchen, you're going to believe that, that the too. magic is the real part. <laughs> no, I do set people on fire. I just don't do it by magic. God damn it. And uh, they were all bad. Always. Well, yep. sure, sure, sure they were, Don. Bad enough for the boss to tell me to kill him. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to go do that. I say in the morning we go check out fucking almost heaven, except probably a demon portal's in there. And we'll pro oh, God. How often do you think those two words are used in the same sentence? <laughs> almost demon heaven? Portal? <laughs> no, fucking in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> well... If you're Depends doing on it who right. you're with. <laughs> I'm gonna say it fucking... I mean, there is a game called seems Seven Minutes like, in uh, Heaven, dude. It seems like a, not a bad interpretation of Heaven, if you ask me. I, uh... Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go... I'll, I'll just... If fucking Amber finds me doing it, I'll just be like, I'm very superstitious. I can come help you if you'd like. <sighs> Fine. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm Thank you for go. coming. <laughs> I'm gonna go find something to eat. And That's the most Canadian I've ever heard you sound. <laughs> sorry, every time she says sorry, sorry. it's the most Canadian sorry. thing she's ever said. It's so the sorry. only word you can't shake. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, as you uh, are walking around the cabin doing your uh, magic warding and Kelly getting a snack from the kitchen, um, the TV in the living room was left on, either by Preston or Amber, probably, and uh, it's people. currently on the news. And you see talk about a potential serial killer in Gatlinburg. And Six fuck. Uh, <laughs> waiting long enough, you catch these. Uh, you know, uh, facts about it that have just, you know, this 24 hour news cycle is pretty much all of the channels are reporting on this. It looks like there's a serial killer in Gatlinburg, and all of the victims seem to die in their sleep, one a night for the last week, and all of the victims have a large cut in their chest. Are all of them male? No, it's showing Fuck. some of the pictures of the victims, and some are male, some are female. Okay, are they are any of them of particular age, or does it not? Or does it? It doesn't. Yeah, all ages, okay. all races. There's just uh, children. No children. Thank God, I was okay. about to be like, oh, bitch. All adults. That's like that, <laughs> okay. the only thing they have in common is that they are all adults. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm like leaning in the doorway of the kitchen with a with a sandwich watching this just hmm. Great. You know, we need to start like researching where we go before we do the things for vacation. How often do we go on holiday? I mean Let me uh 
This is might, the first time, but you would think I might that... know a guy who knows a guy. We might be able to get some information on this uh, sick fuck going around killing people with a sickle. You would think. I mean, who does that? This is probably knows... why whoever canceled, uh, canceled their trip to this we're, cabin. Oh, we're, we're the dumbest people ever. It's probably because canceled because have... of this. It's because your parents have money, and they no, think, it's... oh, nothing can happen to me if I have money. Well, I mean, yeah, I won't deny that. There's kind of like that. You know, I what usually you daddy's got a security team with him. Why doesn't he now? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, also, what does your dad do? Oh, he's a lawyer. Uh, but he is trying to uh, make a run for Senate in the next couple of years. So, um. oh, good. <laughs> your father's a politician. Is oh, good. That's you. exactly the. You know, we've got a lot of interesting things to talk about with your father. Oh no, Don, Don. <laughs> no, no, don't Dawn. talk to my dad, okay? Oh no, it's it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. We we'll just do a couple of little favors. Oh no. Oh, Don. Don. A couple Boy. of little favors. Anyway, uh, you know some very persuasive people. No, Don, stop. A lot of things get done. It's very, it's politics is an expensive business. Don, maybe you want a little, little campaign funds. I'm. I mean, I'm, he's I'm, been a, a major lawyer worked, for years. It so he's, for Donald he's okay. Trump. Oh, yeah, and we see how well that all turned out. Let's let's not move it on in that direction. I All can't I'm saying is I'm that he, he got mob funding from somewhere. <laughs> Listen, do you want to be able to vote? We could get you able to vote. All nah, you have to do right. is absentee ballots. Honestly, it's super easy to commit, <sighs> like, polar... I, well, the problem oh, is I God. don't have an no, address try, or a driver's Dragon license. Bait, Dragon Bait, do not put that out there. I'm kidding. Do any... not fucking put that out there this year, this month. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a terrible person. Let's, again, <laughs> move on. on not getting Danny deported. <laughs> sorry, Danny's mom. I don't know what's happening now. <laughs> ah. Oh. Um, no. Uh. <laughs> I say we take it, we sleep tonight, and then go check it out, because I really don't want to be going down there at night. That sounds right. like a good plan. We'll check it out in daylight, and, uh, Don, don't call in any political favors, but if you could, you know, ask your guy about the dead people, and your, whoever the sickle, Mickey I'll the call sickle. Jim, Jimmy, the, Jimmy the sickle. You would Jimmy say, the sickle. I don't real think it sick, was fucking Real sick Jimmy. fuck, but a, a good owner. Can Jimmy just show up out of nowhere, like materialize? I don't know. I haven't seen him for like five years. I doubt it. If he's a p normal person, like you. Well, maybe, but I fucking adopted a goblin. <laughs> 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 fucking the world's crazy. You... I'll make some calls and see what I can find okay. out. Okay, Jesus. Um, yeah. So yeah, Donald like be on the phone because like part. One of my little maneuvers is made, so I can call on gang members for help, but they will want to be paid. Um, so I can just, be, I'll just make assurances to my local organized crime connections that I will, that there's a rich couple living up in the mountains who probably have plenty of things that will more than cover the cost of uh, some a small amount of local information about a serial killer. That's what I, that's what I was thinking. Is it a big, uh, is it a big mob scene in Gatlinburg, Tennessee? Um, probably probably I not, but, probably. I, but I would imagine that there would be somebody. I know a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy okay. kind of thing. And they could just lean everyone. on the right What does that, what does that get right you? Uh, well, it just, it gets me, it just says I can call on gang members for help, but they want to be paid, so I guess, like, okay. any information you want to give me at your discretion about what they might know about these crimes or the crime scenes okay. or anything that we haven't got from the vision. Um, okay. Also, while he's doing that, I'm going to tune in. Um, I can attune my mind to a monster, and I get to ask you one question if I roll well enough. Okay. Or three... three Three questions if I roll a 10 plus, one question if I roll a 7 to 9. If I roll bad, the creature then knows where I am. Okay. 
monster mini rope. That's weird. Music changed so perfect. I know. <laughs> I kind of hope yeah. I fail it just because this music is perfect. Yeah, yeah. The, the music this episode has been fucking fire, Adam. Good choice. I'm telling you, yeah. That, I'm... Oh, good. How badly did you screw it up? No, I got I got a seven. Okay, seven and nine hold one. Yeah. Okay. So I get to I get to ask where is the creature right now? What is it planning to do right now? Who is it going to attack next? Who does it regard as the biggest threat? How can I attract its attention? I'm not doing that one. Um, I think I want to know who is it going to attack next. Ooh. Okay. You tune into this mind of this creature. And you can tell that it's kind of just biding its time right now. Mm -hmm. And you can also tell that it has one name on its mind. And that name is Preston Brown. Ah, shit. <clears throat> cool, 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 Um. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, we, we have a problem. Um, hopefully the wards will hold. Uh, but this bitch is definitely going after your dad. Got what? No, no, we gotta, we gotta take care of this. That, that can't happen. Oh, I know. Um, so does that I mean, could... does that mean tonight? I don't know. It's biding its time. So maybe once we all go to sleep, what, right. if, we, what if none of us go to sleep? Well, did you bring any of that nose powder? Cause we don't need to go to sleep if you did. You know, I just remembered why we keep Don around. Cause the wards don't work and he has guns. Got I have Don, a fucking AK-47. Yes, exactly. Come on. Yeah, Cabo, um... you... Here's a nine mil for you. Yeah, you know what to do with that, because I remember you fucking blew that guy's head off that time. Well, he yeah. surprised me. I, I I did bring my weaponry with me as well. I of did course as well. you did, sweetheart. That was the right thing to do. Everybody's um, happy. It's Christmas time. <laughs> Merry fucking Christmas. Maybe Don, you've been saying that for like five days. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. We can sleep. I've been drunk for five days. Do it for more than first. that. At that moment, <laughs> on the TV, I've been particularly drunk well, for five days. On the, on the TV at that moment on the news, uh, there is a breaking news alert. And we all like turn and look. It says by this point, uh, well, no. you all got here at like six. By this point, we'll say it's like eleven o'clock midnight. Um, the breaking news is that the owner of the Christmas place, Star Blanchard has been murdered tonight. Maybe what? that means we have until tomorrow? Wait, no. Well, let's go to bed then. Maybe it already killed her before you tapped into its brain. And and, and Preston is the next one. Kiki, wasn't that the person your mother was talking to? No, uh, she was talking to um, Darcy Higgs. Oh, okay. okay. Cool. Um, still think we need to sleep in shifts just in case. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Did your mom? Your mom must know about this weird shit because hello, well, I'm yeah. the demon. She's got at least <laughs> some idea of it. Don, do you um, feel crude about my why? mom? Can Come we? On. Can we talk We're to all her adults. about this? I think we probably need to. Does your um, dad know about this shit? Not as far as I know. He doesn't know okay. about you, so he's about to. <laughs> oh, well, well, not if we can help it. Let's let's <sighs> we go go get your mom, please, and then we'll sit down. I we won't tell her that I'm her illegitimate demon child. Um, so I'm sure that's not gonna come out, right, Dawn? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll go get my mom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, please. Okay, please. I'm begging you. <laughs> go get your mom. So me and Don just have guns. Yeah, have we're guns. just standing there in the living room. <laughs> like, I mean, hi. I, I mean, I'm a Christmas. nine millimeter pistol. Yeah. I mean, on on the way to get my mom, I'm gonna swing past my room and pick up my handgun and tuck that I, in my waistband. I really thought you were about to say your nunchucks, and I was about to be like, okay. <laughs> yeah. No. I, I, 
Go ahead. Yeah, no. We'll, we'll grab those later. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a run to my room as well, and I'm, I'm still, like, bathing suit and towel, and get, get, get into, like, proper clothes. Yeah, I'm in swimming trunks. <laughs> the dinosaur's Jean, on them. Jeans, t-shirt, zip up my, my motorcycle jacket, because it's a bit of armor, and I have my, my uh-huh. 9 mil and my knife. What's wrong, Danny? I think she lost her oh. headphones, so, yeah. Hey, uh, can we take a hot break? Oh, Kiki's dead. Yeah, that's fine. (laughs) Uh, That's good. A hot break? A hot Hot break. break. We rolled dice once. The hottest. (laughs) Those are the best games. It is true. It is true. We're in some fucking audio drama shit. We basically just do improv. Yeah, we don't even play games. That's what Monster of the Week is all about, is you don't, you can tell a story without having to roll. Yeah. Well, that's good. We're all so fucking good at role playing. It just doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, so uh, we'll take uh, what, uh, as just uh, however short we can. Obviously, everybody mm-hmm. take as much time <laughs> as you need. Uh, but just to make sure we do wrap this up tonight, because we can't it's exactly place. do a part two. Um, we'll sure do we a could. quick break. What are you talking about? Well, you should have made like a, you should have fucking written a thirty second adventure out of it because you know what we're like. <laughs> well, I'm sure <laughs> I, you know me. I I can time one shots, and if I have to. We will uh, cut short. But yeah, we'll, we'll be right back. Uh, just uh, just a couple minutes, everybody. Be right back. Bye. In a world where adventure awaits and danger lurks around every corner, an unlikely group of friends find themselves on the path to becoming heroes. But school will only get them halfway. Merlin, the human warlock barber guy. Oh, God, no, I got to buff his butt. No. Can I refuse business? Ubo, the turtle artificer. Well, it doesn't work yet, but uh, I'm working on it. Ultrex, the discarded warforged paladin. I don't eat or sleep or wear clothes, so I just sit in the corner and wait. And Clyde, the goliath barbarian in skinny jeans. They're called skinny pelts, okay? Find us on iTunes or wherever you download your podcast by searching for Halfway to Heroes. Yee-haw! Welcome everybody to Shitty Cowboys. What in tarnation is Shitty Cowboys? We're an actual play, Dungeons and Dragons bi-weekly Twitch stream and podcast set in the West Hollow setting. That's right, it's Dungeons and Dragons and Cowboys. What else more could you ask for? Follow Sean Marston and John Belia Pendergrass as they travel across West Hollow and get into some cowboy trouble. Find us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash one shot onslaught every other Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and every other Wednesday wherever you get your podcast. Now go on, get to subscribing. From the city that brought you Kentucky Fried Chicken comes Roll Four. Weird, a Monster of the Week actual play podcast. Join Philbert Fogel, Doomsday Prepper, and Expert. I mean, I'm kind of like the linchpin that's keeping everything together. Laysath, the Divine. And I still owe him my life, so I would have to end yours. It would be a mess. Shadow, the Edgy Initiate. I trust him with my life. I don't know if I trust him with my car. Misty Charlotte Paladino, Spellslinger. But I haven't set anything on fire that I haven't meant to set on fire. Silas Lancaster, Elderly Vampire. They broke the mold when they made children. Roll for Weird. On Twitch, streaming monthly. New podcast episodes every other Friday. Hey everyone, it's your Dungeon Master Adam here to tell you all about One Shot Onslaught. We are an actual play D&D 5e podcast that even follows some of the rules. Rules? No one said there'd be rules. We play through popular one-shot modules from DMsGuild.com so that you can drop in at any episode. We have Lord Sean Snow, the hero's hero, who is a 140-year-old human wizard. I cast magic missile up its butthole! Death, the teeth and rogue who only eats raw meat. Did somebody say meat? The dwarf druid iron claw who loves nature almost as much as he loves oatmeal. Cinnamon oatmeal, or get the F out. 
And last but not least, we have Ted, the tiefling bard who loves to jam out on his magic guitar and skadoosh on his magic flying broom. Skadoosh. Find us wherever you download your podcast and follow us on all social media at One Shot Onslaught. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Jerundu. And we are the hosts of Majestic Goose's newest podcast, Dice Talk. Dice Talk is a Dungeons and Dragons and tabletop podcast that dives into the deep topics of tabletop role-playing games. Join us as we speak with passionate content creators, podcasters, authors, and more as we discuss all manner of tabletop and geek-related content. Dice Talk is a bi-weekly show, so we're hitting your podcatcher with brand new episodes every other week, filling your ears with exclusive interviews and conversations that you can't find anywhere else. Every episode is a new opportunity to hear from different creators in in the tabletop community and just talk about Dungeons and Dragons and any other tabletop games that have made us who we are. Dice Talk, now on the Majestic Goose Podcast Network. Make sure you check us out and subscribe so you never miss an episode. A Majestic Goose Podcast. Honk. In a world where adventure awaits and danger lurks around every corner, an unlikely group of friends find themselves on the path to becoming heroes. But school will only get them halfway. Merlin, the human warlock barber guy. Oh god, no, I gotta buff his butt! No! Can I refuse business? Ubo, the turtle artificer. Well, it doesn't work yet, but uh, I'm working on it. Ultrex, the discarded warforged paladin. I don't eat or sleep or wear clothes. So I just sit in the corner and wait. And Clyde, the Goliath Barbarian in skinny jeans. They're called skinny pelts, okay? Find us on iTunes or wherever you download your podcast by searching for Halfway to Heroes. Yeehaw! Welcome everybody to Shitty Cowboys. What in tarnation is Shitty Cowboys? We're an actual play, Dungeons and Dragons bi-weekly Twitch stream and podcast set in the West Hollow setting. That's right, it's Dungeons and Dragons and Cowboys. What else more could you ask for? Follow Sean Marston and John Belio Pendergrass as they travel across West Hollow and get into some cowboy trouble. Find us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash one shot onslaught every other Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and every other Wednesday wherever you get your podcast. Now go on, get to subscribing. From the city that brought you Kentucky Fried Chicken comes Roll for Weird, a Monster of the Week actual play podcast. Join Philbert Fogel, Doomsday Prepper, and Expert. I mean, I'm kind of like the linchpin that's keeping everything together. Laysath. The Divine. And I still owe him my life, so I would have to end yours. It would be a mess. Shadow, the edgy initiate. I trust him with my life. I don't know if I trust him with my car. Misty Charlotte Paladino, Spellslinger. But I haven't set anything on fire that I haven't meant to set on fire. Silas Lancaster, elderly vampire. They broke the mold when they made Silver. Roll four. Weird. On Twitch. Streaming monthly. New podcast episodes every other Friday. Hey everyone, it's your Dungeon Master Adam here to tell you all about One Shot Onslaught. We are an actual play D&D 5e podcast that even follows some of the rules. Rules? No one said there'd be rules. We play through popular one-shot modules from DMsGuild.com so that you can drop in at any episode. We have Lord Sean Snow, the hero's hero, who is a 140-year-old human wizard. I cast magic and missile up its butthole! Death, the teething rogue who only eats raw meat. Did somebody say meat? The dwarf druid Iron Claw who loves nature almost as much as he loves oatmeal. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, so I believe where we left off with Kiki heading to the master bedroom to get your uh, your mom, Amber. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Kiki, when you enter into the room, uh, you see your mom asleep in bed, and you see Preston uh, working on a laptop 
on a desk in the corner of the room. Oh, you're still awake, Dad. Um, you should go to bed. Uh, he just gives kind of a non-committal grunt. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna just walk over to Mom and gently shake her. Hey, Mom. Mom, yes. I need you. Can it wait till the morning? Uh, n no. You didn't take an Ambien tonight, did you? I take an Ambien every night. Yes. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> that's fine. I need you anyway, please. Can you support half my body weight? <laughs> Yes, mom. I I could. <laughs> okay, let's go. I, I punch. I punch Don. <laughs> what? I'm trying to be helpful. Uh huh. You dirty old man. <laughs> Fuck. What? <laughs> so Kiki and Amber are able to uh, make it to the uh, living area where the rest of the party are waiting. Yes. Um, is, that, is that mistletoe? No, stop. Come here. Come on. Give me a kiss. It's Christmas. Give me I, a fucking mistletoe can, kiss. Can I just shove him onto a sofa nearby? He falls over I mean, a footstool. You could kiss your boyfriend. Lands, you push him and he <laughs> falls falls over a footstool and lands on his back, like, with, throws the AK-47, like, behind his head. Like, Whoa! Fuck! No. Um, um, no. What, what happened? It's an earthquake. Kiki's mom. Earthquake. Totally an earthquake. Oh, jeez. Amber. Uh, yes, I know. Um, so, do you know about spoopy, scary stuff? Um, uh, like what? Demons. Just picking himself uh, up off the floor using his AK things. as a walking stick. Demons. Yeah. Okay. I. Uh, your husband's gonna die tonight. I got a qu I got a question. Is, tonight? Does, do demon dicks have like yeah. spikes and shit on them? Don, shut Kiki's the mom. fuck up! Uh. <laughs> you make Kiki swear. I'm impressed. <laughs> I didn't think we'd ever hear Kiki swear. I'm sorry. I didn't we, either. Can we talk about all this in the morning? I'm so no, tired. No, your husband no, is going to know. die. I gotta know what it, what do demon dicks look like. I just I punch <laughs> him again. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean he's gonna die tonight? Um, we uh uh. You uh, found out that you fucking cucked him. No, we we found out that there's a creature that's killing things in this area, and uh, we know that your husband is next. Okay. That sounds weird. That doesn't sound right. No, it doesn't, but it isn't wrong. It's not inaccurate. How do you know, you know... How do you know it's going to happen tonight? Because I would rather it happen on night I didn't take an Ambien. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would rather that too, Mom. But... Well, that'd be like 1974. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can, um... I, can I roll to kick some ass? <laughs> Dawn's <Yes>. ass. <laughs> oh, I love this. Dawn's trigger discipline is poor because he's very drunk. I'm just, like, uh, I'm gonna like hide behind something because I'm like, nope. I see where this is it's going. A, standing there, swaying, oh. holding this AK-47. We gotta no. protect the the fucking senator because he's no. Don. His wife's dick and demons and his goddamn God sickle damn monster. It. I punch him. I haul back and I punch him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do it very well. Six. But damn it, I haul back and I punch him. He feels it. <laughs> he definitely um, feels it. You, what, wow, what the fuck was that for? Most of you would know. Um, so I think definitely Tabitha from... Um, the visions you've pieced together with the news and the visions that uh, this whatever this is the serial killer has been killing one person a day uh, for yeah. the last week and somebody did die today tonight so he's he, he's probably safe for tonight and since 
Since we got Preston's name, it would be my guess that she caught the thing right after it killed. So the so then the, the vision that uh, we had was actually of last night. Mm-hmm. By the way, so the the vision right. was of last night, and then the news alert, breaking news, was from was tonight. Today. Yes. So okay. we've already we've already had our victim for today. Okay. Okay. Right. Fine. Go back to bed. You can't take an ambient <laughs> ambient tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. I, uh, and Captain. we're probably gonna have to have this conversation with her again tomorrow. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, hey, no, no quaaludes either, lady. <laughs> so and she goes back to bed. I, I think, turned. I think I, I got turned, some up as. I turned. Don, I think you need to go to bed. Nah, 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 nah. Gabba stomps on his fo- on Don's foot, but it hurts Gabba. <laughs> um. Don? It barely, Don barely even registers it. He's like too far, he's, far too Gabo's far still gone. barefoot, too. He's like, ow, god damn it, no steel toe. <laughs> Son of a bitch, Don. I should have known. Um, Don? <sighs> yeah. Look at me. Which one are you? I just grab his head and focus. I swear to God, if you bring up the fact that I, that she fucked a demon. Don't take his name fucking- in vain. I will end. Oh, she every... is not taking it in vain at all. I she am... is dead serious. I will fucking end everything you love. Gapo? Yeah, Maybe. I was about to say, why don't you just give him a little a little mark on the cheek to start? You don't have to end everything he loves. Just kind of show him you're serious. Maybe a little burn, a little... He's Gabo? a good kid. He's a good kid. He's a good... You don't... He's a Don, good kid. stop it for one second. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look... I'm just saying, you don't have to kill everyone he knows. You're not the fucking Punisher. I didn't give him a little burn on the cheek. Everyone he knows. I said everyone everything he, he loves. loves. Okay, okay, you're right. But he's got a big heart underneath that drunken stupor of his. You know he loves everyone. Come on. Does he? You Does, have, Does he? he though? I don't know. He puts up with all of us. We put up with him. So ah! oh, Don, damn it, Don! <laughs> Fuck! Good thing I'm still in my bathing suit. I'm oh, gonna get that, guys. And that change. was all. That was all over Tabitha, wasn't it? Oh, fuck. Because <laughs> she was right in front of him. I'm going to headbutt him. Just like grab, hit, and then walk away to go take a shower. Hey, God, let's see that tough roll. Let's see that tough roll to kick some ass. I can kick some ass, sure. Let's see it. I want to see it. I want to see how I need to react to this. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh my god. Uh, uh, it's plus tough. I don't think I can. I'll, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use big whammy. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> there you are. You use a mega power on me. <laughs> yeah, um, big whammy is you use your powers to kick some ass, roll plus weird instead of plus tough. The attack has two harm. Cl- uh, How do you close, do uh, uh, It ignores armor. <laughs> On a miss, you get magical backlash. Don doesn't even wear underpants, never mind it, armor. <laughs> so yeah, let's go for it. Uh, that is a nine. A nine? Well, that'll do the job. Uh, <laughs> go fuck! Go sleep it My off. My fucking man. nose! What you fucking get? I walk away to go shower. And as the impact of his nose breaking from being headbutted goes off, <laughs> it tightens reflexively on the trigger of his AK-47, and a round fires off through the ceiling. I'm just, I, I'm just waiting and listening to see if, if Preston reacts to this. <laughs> uh, Kiku could say Don. that uh, Preston had some uh, big headphones in while he was. Uh... Oh, thank you. That's why. Don. You... Hey, Don. You guys, all right. Like, you hear this is blood down. streaming from both nostrils. It's like his eyes are watering. You should go lay down. Yeah. She hit you pretty hard. Here, let me take the gun and I'll, I'll help you. Okay, it, you can, nice can I, lady. Can I try to like reset his nose at least? Because having a... Uh, that's nope. not good. He deserves this. <laughs> <laughs> It'll still hurt. I, I, I just don't want him to risk jamming bone shards into his brain. Will it hurt to reset it? Yes. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Don, Don, come, come here. There's something. You, I, 
I'm 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 gonna, I'm gonna oh help. God. Let's, oh let's, God! Oh God! I'm gonna Kelly. help the gun. <laughs> I'm gonna like duck out of the way. <sighs> I have to clean this up. <sighs> hey Don, you know the part of your life where I'm your moral compass. <laughs> you should start following me a little bit more. I can't. Yeah. And then he just falls over face first <laughs> into into his pile of his own vomit. You know oh. what? I take it back. It's all cold. It's all cold cuts and booze. I take it back. Let's just leave him there. Yeah. We are a weird sort of group. <laughs> Even oh, weirder. friends with you people. Even weirder than the world's worst house guest. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. I love. I love it though. I think this was um, like the first time we were trialing the kids on bikes method of like really <laughs> awful characters. <laughs> 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 What about me? I got a heart of gold. Oh yeah, no, Gabba, I, I, Gabba's the fucking shiny uh, maybe, gem. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just speaking for myself here. <laughs> I, I really like Gabba. Yeah, I'm gonna like sling an arm around Kiki's shoulders and be like, let's just leave him to sleep it off. Yeah. Well, like, uh, like, like turn it, turn his I, head enough so he doesn't choke. I love well, being an asshole. It's <laughs> it's so much fun. You're so uh, good at it. Thank we'll you. have everybody uh naturally. Don passed out on the ground, everybody else finding their way to their rooms after Tabitha gets a shower and finds uh her room in the attic and um Yeah, we'll uh awake in the morning. Don maybe a little hungover. Uh um, still laying in his own vomit. Well he wished because he was dead. I used to a cleaning lady. <laughs> The cleaning lady wouldn't move him, is the thing. Uh, no, the cleaning she, she lady... Clean around especially, him. especially not since he's laying on top of an AK-47. Yeah. And a, pile, <laughs> and a pile of vomit. Yeah, the cleaning lady does not come in between days. Uh, the cleaning lady doesn't come until after okay. this yeah. day. So the day-to-day -day cleaning is up to the people who it's are like, staying. It's like an Airbnb uh, where, where someone comes in to clean between. Yes. Don's yeah. Office. It's up to Don. So, so I like everything. come nudge him with my foot. Hey, um, Don? Ugh. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Ugh. Look, you, you know a lot of people, right? I don't know my own fucking name right now. <laughs> okay, but Jesus. you're gonna have to look into who you know, and um, I'm sure you know someone who specializes in cleaning up crime scenes and bodily oh, fluids um, yeah you should um please make a call please speaking of uh don uh, making coff calls coffee cough coffee i'll I get you some coffee as you make that call i Co walk coffee. over and just hand him one i've been up oh, for a while i was trying to get him to make the call first well speaking of don making calls uh don you have gotten uh three pages back from bert mm -hmm. leg um, after your calls you sent out last night to Wait, try to find somebody who knew something about what was going on. How are they getting a hold of him if he only uses pagers? It was his pa He got paged by Bert Leg. His pager was in the water. We put it in rice and it dried out overnight. <laughs> okay, it was his second okay. pager. He mentioned how many pagers he goes through. I had, a, I had a rock and a Stone Cold Steve Austin one from like 1998. Those things are fucking old. mint. Condition collector's editions. Well, not anymore. Well, no, not anymore. Now the severely I, water damaged to me was shit. I'll also give him some ibuprofen for his nose. So, uh, so yeah, I guess how they pages work. Your girlfriend, nose. Tabitha. I guess how ibuprofen pages work. You, you'll have to call Bert back. Uh, okay. Actually, well, yeah. Hey, Bert, you, Bert, like you, you it's Don Giovanni. Oh, hey, Don Giovanni. What, what's happening? How's it going up there yeah, in the Tennessee? Fucking cold. And, uh, just a bunch of assholes. Uh, what do you know about the, uh, the murder thing? Okay, so get this. I heard from Harper Livingston. So Harper lives around that area where mm. Star got killed. Hey, hey, Don, I hear snoring. Head. Don, 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 mm. Don. Yeah. Don Harper lives where uh, in the neighborhood where where Star got murdered. You heard about Star, right? Got murdered last night. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The person with the with the Santa shop. How weird is that shit? Why, who's got a year-round Santa shop? The, the dead person. 
the dead person, exactly. Dead people have to, yeah. So anyway, um, uh, anyway, Harper, Harper was out walking her dog. And, yeah. And <laughs> um, she was walking past Star's house, saw some kid in Harper's, or in Star's living room. Thought it was strange, because she kind of knows Star, and knows that Star ain't got no kids. But didn't think, maybe thought, you know, niece or nephew. By the time they circled back, walking their dog hand back home, they, they, this is what Harper says. Harper says she's see, she seen a, a, a GD giant in the living room. That's what Harper said. A GD giant. And then this GD giant turned, walked right through the GD wall, and then that was it. And then found out a couple hours later that Star was murdered. Tried to tell the cops this about this GD giant and this GD kid. And the cops ain't listening to her. Okay, so we got a fucking non-corporeal fucking giant striding around murdering people. Okay, you, d you, d you did good. You did good. Uh, also, you know, like, uh, uh, some good guys who do cleaning? Like, I mean, real deep clean. Oh, I mean, I know some guys in L over here in L.A. I ain't know nobody <laughs> over there in Tennessee. Well, look fucking ask around make some fucking calls i'll i i owe you fucking one we get back to la i fucking all owe right. you one all right i'll, I'll give you all I'll the fucking around. cannolis you can eat or some shit i don't know whatever but just you fucking get a get some fucking cleaners in tennessee to get their asses up to fucking almost heaven and clean up this goddamn mess dream right, a little merry, dream. merry fucking christmas bert and then it just hangs up they're gonna clean up the murder scene. Yes, you guys are in Dream a Little Dream right now. Uh, Almost Heaven was the one where the murder took place uh, two nights ago. That's what happens when you let <laughs> a hungover fucking gangster with a broken nose make the shot, make the calls. True. So I made the fucking calls. It's all, it's all good. Don't worry. It's fine. Uh huh. Mm hmm. So it's so early gonna morning. Wacky pop. Yeah, it's early morning. Uh, what's gonna be the plan for the day? Food. Yeah, gobble. <laughs> food. Food. Lots of food. Day. All right, everybody. It's, it's, it's Christmas Eve, right? No. I'll start it is Christmas eggs Eve. Eggs and bacon and such. Uh, how do you want them? He's like walking through, like stretching, last up. Like he, this is the routine when they're together. He goes in there, and starts making breakfast. Uh, fried for me, please. Thank you, yeah. Gabo. Fried. Uh, what else? If you scrambled don't say anything, cheese, you're getting scrambled. All right, scrambled cheese. You just, scrambled's fine. Just so, make sure the bacon is like fucking shatters when you stick a fork in it. Yeah, so uh, so I hate that in. bacon. Um, Me too. So, what? Just, yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> That's I don't. the best bacon. No, no, I like flimsy bacon. Crispy bacon is so good. Crispy, Danny knows it, where it's at. It, it needs to be just shy of crispy for me. It needs to yes. be able to have a little wiggle and to none it. none of this fucking streaky bacon shit either, like real bacon. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. So just uh, look, just because you live in the UK and can get the good <laughs> shit. <laughs> just for the sake Again, of time, knows where it's uh, we'll have uh, you all have a big breakfast. Don can yeah, we won't soak have a half an hour scene of it. <laughs> yeah, trust me, I love <laughs> really it. Good, and if we but... didn't have like a hard hard uh, hard out tonight, I would fucking play out this breakfast scene as much as I could. Uh, but just to uh, make sure we do get this uh, wrap. Um, after everybody has a breakfast and Don, you get to sober up a little bit uh, from that hangover. What's going to be the plan for the day? How are you all as, trying to? As soon as Don finishes eating, he's gonna just light a robusto Cuban cigar at the table. Um, I think some people should go check out Almost Heaven. Almost Heaven. Yeah. That's what I thought okay, I heard last night. We have to talk night, to mom yeah. again. So I yeah. suggest Dawn and somebody else to go check out Almost Heaven. Yeah, I could be. Yeah, I could check things out real good. And then you and Gabo, I talk you to want to help him? Yeah, if you guys want to clean all these dishes, I'll go help out <laughs> Dawn. Make sure he doesn't destroy anything. You, 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 you did all the cooking. You don't, you don't do dishes when you did yeah. all the cooking. What's wrong with you? 
We take care right. of the dishes. All right, well, just don't don't let it sit. It's only going to get harder to clean. Rinse it yeah, while it's Ke hot. Ke Kelly's already rolling up her sleeves and headed over to them. <laughs> headed over the to longer you wait, the more work it's going to take. I, I, I got gotcha. you. You go, go make sure he doesn't headbutt a tree or something. All right, don't scratch that shit either. It's not even mine, but it's just respect. I, I, I respect, I respect kitchenware. My, you're not the first person that, uh, that, that, that I've been around to uh, is this particular. All right, because if that Teflon rubs off, that shit's poison. Go. That shit's right, expensive, I'm going, too. I'm going. I'm going. Come, on. So, Come on, Gobble. We'll go right, check shit I, out. I grab my flash hoodie and I pull that thing on and go outside into the snow. So Don and I'll Gobble. have your weapons with you, or? Nah, I, well, Don's I not going to take the AK. I miss. <laughs> Uh, Does not gonna take the AK. Are you guys walking to? Uh, He'll take the nine I, mil out off Gobbo and stick it in his waistband. But yeah, he's not taking an assault I'll, rifle out. Or I'll say that if you guys are walking down to the cabin, it'd probably be like a fifteen minute walk. Or if you drove, it would be. Well, like, I've got yeah, we've got one of the cars, haven't we? So yeah, just take one okay. of the cars. Go uh, walking. The nice clean air will do you some good. <laughs> no, <that's>, he's gonna <laughs> done, done smoking a fat cigar okay. in the rental car. Okay. Uh, so you guys hop in one of the SUVs, the one that has Gobbo's... He's not paying uh, for it, he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> the one that has Gobbo's uh, <laughs> booster seat in it, and drive down, and a couple minutes later you arrive at Almost Heaven. It's got the crime scene tape around still, but there's no uh, cop cars, or nobody's here. It's just uh, taped off. Still like a lot of snow on the ground, right? Um, on the actual sidewalks and road... There's none, uh, but oh, in the actual grass. They've like grass been solid the, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. It's been melted okay. on the road. Because my, my deal was, are we going to leave footprints like going okay. up, and up yeah. to the house or whatever? Um, yeah. No, uh, all the walkways are clear snow. Okay. Well, I guess like. Should we just go in? I should, I mean, I can climb or sneak in or something. Yeah, I guess you, uh, you go first because uh, we can always just play it off as some, you're my fucking kid. <laughs> All right, that's worked like twice, but sure. Well, it's better than fucking me just walking in there with my fucking hangover smelling of booze. Hey, guys, I'm just here to fucking... No, 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 you're right, you're right, and you're yelling right now, so let's keep it quiet. I'm gonna just, walk up there, don't... and I'm gonna I'm gonna go check it out. Yeah, Gaba, you uh, get up to the front door and open it up, and it's just unlocked. I guess the, the local law enforcement just assumed that crime tape would be enough to keep people out for the night. Suckers. I don't know, open it. <laughs> I see anything immediately horrific? No, all the lights in the cabin are out. Mm -hmm. um, can we, let's do, um... Well, I'm gonna, like, jump a little bit <laughs> and then flick the light on. <laughs> okay. Um, Very small. Let's do an, uh... Let's do an investigate a mystery roll. We'll do both of you, because, uh, I mean, Don, you're following behind him, right? Uh -huh. or, or, okay, yeah. We'll have you both do an investigative mystery roll. And then you both describe to me what you're doing, like going room to room, or however you're just, or however you're looking. And we roll two dice, right? Okay. Um, yeah. And it's a plus short. Yeah, seven. Seven. Uh, so you get to hold one. Of those questions, do you have your reference guide up? I've got an um, eight. An eight. So you both will get to hold one, which means that you both can ask uh, one of the following questions: What happened here? What sort of creature is it? What can it do? What can hurt it? Where did it go? What is? What was it going to do? And what is being concealed here? I mean, I would love to know where it went. Okay. Uh, Don, what would... Um... What can it... What can it do? Yeah. Um, so what's it... What's... Uh, what are you two doing as you're uh, looking for around and poking around in this cabin? Well, when I, ch when I jumped to turn on the light, did it come on or has it been like... Is the light did come power? on, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. power's on. Um, Don's... Don's checking for like whether or not it's uh, there's like any signs of 
forced entry or like physical physical signs that it might have been there you know like scratch marks or you know anything like that yeah and i'm saying like if it you know is it still here or did it leave and if so how um like is there any evidence that would you know is there even enough stuff to show me evidence of that yeah, kind of okay. thing uh goblin you are kind of leading the way i feel like this music that just came out for this well timed you poke your, you poke your head in uh the master bedroom and you're pretty quick to it and you actually see a small boy that looks translucent and as soon as you poke your head in he looks over at you and then he vanishes Mm, go. Ah! You're gonna hear that from the other room. Ah, there's a there's, there's, there's a ghost or something. Long comes busted and kicking the door down with his fucking pistol waving about. No, it's a, I said it's a ghost. What the hell are you gonna do with that thing? I don't fucking know. What what was I gonna do with you know? It's the only thing I got. I don't know. I was just calling for you. Am I supposed to use harsh language? Well, it disappeared, but if it's a poltergeist, I'm kind of fucked because I'm like two feet tall, right? If it's a normal ghost, we're all right. But if it's a poltergeist, we're screwed. So that's why you I'm eventually going to fucking suck you into the TV. What? I don't. I'm not a ghost expert. I just know they exist, and you don't fuck with poltergeists when you two feet tall. More of a fucking expert than me. I'm a fucking guy. You're a fucking goblin. You see I'm a little head pop the flash into vision. Hoodie. The little, the little head's just like expert. watching you two. Just loudly shouting at each other in this crime scene. And it's like looking back and <laughs> forth between you two. And then his whole body materializes. Uh -oh. Hey, you fuck. Hey, no, no, no. Oh. Hey, can you hear us? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Um, what's your name? Uh, my name's Ghost of Christmas Past. What's your That's name? That's your name. Your name's Ghost. Uh, That's I'm my Gobbo, name. Well, and, hi, Gobbo. Um, uh, what are you doing here, Ghost of Christmas Past? Um, I'm looking for Ghost of Christmas yet to come. Really? I haven't seen him in a few days. I'm try I'm getting worried about my friend. I didn't know. Is, Wait, so is that? Is he like a, a a guy in a black robe with a sickle? Oh yeah, it looks very spooky. Uh, well, he was here yesterday, uh, killing somebody. I that doesn't that sound like to, him. That that is mo. You like cutting people with sickles? No, no well, he's supposed do? to he's supposed to just spook people and make them change their ways. Well, he made him change their ways from being alive to being dead. That doesn't sound like my friend. Well, that's what we that's what we've seen, kid. What's he? What does he normally do? Like, uh, some he's fucking usually, Ebenezer Scrooge shit. Well, so usually I, I visit people that need to change their ways, and I'm like, hey, look how cool you were when you were a little kid, and then uh, our big friend, uh, Ghost of Christmas Present, uh, what drink? Sh shows up, and he, uh, he said, no, I, I can't drink. I'm incorporeal, and. Um, the, okay. Our big, our big friend. I didn't uh, know about your religion. Sorry. No, that and I can't. It will go right through me. Um, with or you speaking. Um, and then our big giant friend Yuvu says, "Hey, look, this is how your Christmas is right now. It's not really the greatest." And then, uh, go so Christmas yet to come. We'll be like, "Hey, look, if you don't change your ways, it's gonna be real bad." And he tries to scale people. Do you see him? <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. He's, he's like a fucking, he's like a baby Billy Madison. I can't <laughs> help it. I'm just. He's adorable. Yeah, it's all, I love this guy. Hey, yeah, Christmas so. Christmas past guy. Why don't you tell your friends to like chill out? Because they need to stop cutting people in half. Oh, yeah, oh that, I know where cool. my big, I know where my big friend is. Watch. Poof. And uh, this big giant like filling the room kind of hunched over. Fuck. is like, hey, hey, hey. I'm I don't think I'm supposed to be it's here. Fat Albert. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I why hey what uh, is today? Christmas going on? Eve. Are you are, are, are you what the is this murder shit? guy? Oh, I don't I don't murder people. No, I'm it's Christmas Eve. Who would murder someone on Christmas Eve? 
I don't know who would murder someone on the day before Christmas Eve. Frankie I don't think fingers. I'm supposed to be here right now, and the big giant the, disappears. The five days before that. Okay. Rude. Okay. I saw he doesn't really like to talk a lot. Um. Have you seen my? Have you seen the big scary guy? You knew about the scary guy. Where'd you see him at? A uh, friend of ours, uh, Simon, a uh, cookie of magic vision. Well, I, uh, well, technically, I guess. Friend of mine, Simon, a uh, vision, said he was here last night killing somebody. Well, that doesn't sound like him, but if he's killing people, then that's... She's usually, she's usually right. <sighs> that's going to be bad news if he's really just killing people. Do you think he killed all these people? Well, that's what people are saying. It's a fucking big guy in a black robe and a fucking sickle. You know what? I thought it's like I, a it's like a one-handed scythe. Yeah, it's a yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah, it's a big sickle. If you didn't yeah. know, that's what a sickle is. It's like a it's like a scythe but for one hand. I was I was pretty pretty curious when all the people that I had seen the night before I woke up and read the newspaper, the ghost newspaper. Uh, uh, Ghost Daily, that all of, all the people I talked to the night before had just been murdered pretty brutally, so. But I they didn't want to they... think that my friend, my one of two friends, would do that. I guess it would be difficult to make that connection. F fuck me, Jesus Christ. I'm, you know, that's um, I'm sensing some, okay, I'm so... sensing some sarcasm for you, Mew, mister. Well, look, I'm not having a very good Christmas at present. Well, it's not, so, kiss, whiz, kiss, not Christmas yet, it's Christmas Eve. Whatever. How do we fucking stop this mook from killing more people? I don't know if I want to tell you. It would be me. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I got a, I got a, I got a little something for you. What? Uh, uh, what the fuck? Uh, this, uh... Stone Cold Steve Austin Pager, circa 1998. That's my favorite year. No, nope, they don't. They don't make them no more. I saved a lot of people that year. It's a good year. It's a very good year. Good year. That's a good. That's a start. It's a start. What? Well, what else do you want? I mean, there's two of you. And that's only one present. Why? What the hell you want from me? I'll give you my friendship. I'm not a murderer. The two people that's I the killed had it coming. Finest Finest gift of all. Okay. All right. Look one here. Tree, one I already offered you a drink. Point. You didn't okay. want it. No, no. That's no. fucking one, not, one very, not very, not very holiday one, spirit. I call Stone Cold Steve Austin though. Three sixteen. The stunner. Oh, oh hell yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if it's really, if it's really, goes to Christmas yet to come, the big, the big spooky one. If it's really him doing it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard for you to. I mean. He's a big scary guy, but he does have weakness. Got two weaknesses that? actually. His One balls? weakness you can either um, have the person change their ways that we're trying to. So it looks like, uh, and he pulls out like a translucent notebook and he starts flipping. Well, it looks like I'm supposed to visit tonight, uh, Preston Brown because Preston That's right. Brown has been not spending enough time with his family and has been too focused on his career. That's so, right. While he's been fucking focused on that, his wife's been fucking demons. Okay, yeah, it says right here, fucking demons. So, uh, imagine I'm part of my, oh, imagine shoot, that. Don't tell, don't tell Ghost of Christmas pre pa present. I cursed. It's okay. It's Christmas. Okay. And we won't tell him, all right? Okay, well, look, right. It, right here it says, um, so that's, I'm going to be visiting Preston tonight. And then be goes to Christmas present, and then goes to Christmas yet to come will be next. But if you want to banish him, you can either help the the figure we're trying to help see the error in their ways, or if you want to use some magic, um, you can also um, there's a banishment spell. It's got a lot of it's got a, a, a so many ma material components you need. You need a mistletoe ornaments. Christmas sweaters, elf on the shelf, whatever the fuck that is. What? Oof! Don't tell him I said a second <laughs> one. Definitely don't. A uh, fruit cake, Christmas Carol music sheets, the actual Christmas Carol books, 
And then here's the big thing. You need at least three people singing Christmas carols in a big circle around it. Oh, well, how many of those things are in this house? I, well, the cursory, I mean, look, that's, I that shouldn't have been in a character voice. How many of those things can we immediately locate? <laughs> um, of those things, uh, the, these these cabins are decorated for Christmas, so there's definitely mm-hmm. ornaments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, probably not Christmas and- sweaters. Um, Any elves on shelves? He's got that covered. I was gonna say, if Kiki doesn't have at least one, <laughs> yeah, I think even um, Dunton would have one. There probably wouldn't be an elf on the shelf in this cabin. Um, also, yeah, maybe he not. He always the... brings one, weirdly enough. Yeah. Um, why do you, in- why is... do you invite the Fey into our house? <laughs> there is a bookshelf that does indeed have nothing but Christmas books, and on that bookshelf there is the Christmas Carol books. Um. It's a book. This one doesn't have a piano in it. Your new upgraded book cabin doesn't have a piano in it. Oh, the no, cabin doesn't. New have cabin. A piano. The new upgraded cabin does have a piano. I mean, pop-up books have got a lot more sophisticated since I was a kid. If that's okay. Uh, the, your upgraded cabin does have a piano, which does have the music sheet for uh, Christmas Carol music sheets. Um, so you, so we're left l- with uh, looking for mistletoe. Which Don has mistletoe. I've already already seen. We some have in set the other that cabin. in fe- fiction. Um, so we will be needing uh, Christmas sweaters, Elf on the Shelf, fruit cake. Those are the three. You, I, gobble, I you not... know how to make a fruit cake? I mean, if we got some molasses and some fruit, and you know, a couple other basic things, I can figure it out. We got Kiki's the internet, <laughs> so I mean, you can do yeah, it. Yeah, Kiki's oh, really? mom and dad are a bunch of rich degenerates. I'm sure they got all that kind of shit in the kitchen. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I guess we're renting the place for sure. I don't know. We'll fucking... You managed to find all that breakfast shit. Yeah, I mean, it's because it's just like eggs and bacon. Why, you know, the why are you putting Roblox in my fucking It doesn't way. matter. You're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> I, pr- I, uh... I Whatever. guess we'll drive down I'll the fucking the mountain cake. and find no, a like fucking fr- bakery. <laughs> Can't even. Don, calm down. Take a deep fucking breath. God watch your damn. watch your blood pressure. Fucking, I'm gonna make a fruit cake. Fucking Barbara. Gosh, this is why. This is why I give him the turkey bacon. <laughs> a lot less. Damn it, Larry. Larry. Fucking disappointment. So, do you, <laughs> All right. So it sounds like you all gonna try and kill my friend. Uh, well, we'll just make him go away and stop yeah, killing other people. It, well, he'll go away, yeah, until next year, and he'll maybe I could talk some sense into him. But well, it kind of kind of seems like it's like out of our jurisdiction. And you got like some kind of fucking ghost cops. No, I don't know any ghost cops. It's just me and the giant. Gi- but show. maybe between me and the giant, maybe some we ghost can, cops. Maybe me and the giant <laughs> can talk some sense into him in the next three hundred and thirty-five days or whatever. We only, we only, we only interact between like mid-November to like December. So. Okay, I was trying to figure out what goofy math you were doing. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, I was trying, I was trying to subtract uh, about thirty days in my mind. So yeah. Well, I guess uh, if you ain't got anything else you can tell us, uh, we'll go back to the other cabin. Yeah, and, uh... that sounds cool. I would like to see this other cabin. Maybe. Um. No, I. Yeah, what? Fuck! Why? Why the fuck not? Come I mean, on! I can... Oh, come you on, want me? Oh, on, you kid. want me to come? Come on, get in the SUV. We're gonna fucking sing some Christmas carols. It's gonna I... be a real fucking good time. I can't sit, but I can. Well, like I could levitate. Well, I, like, I guess uh, like I, fucking I, float. No, Whatever I'm the coming. fuck it is you do. Okay, I'm coming. I'll just move with uh, the the car. As so, all yeah. of that is happening. What? Oh. Okay, yes. Um, the Nutcracker Suite plays in the background. Yeah. <laughs> um, is there any preparation um, going on in the cabin? Or are you going to wait until you hear all this news from Don and Gabo? We were going we to talk, gonna talk to Amber. Amber. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's why we kicked Don and Gabo okay, out. Okay, so Tabitha, Kiki, and Kelly can talk to Amber. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> So, uh, hey, Mom. Remember anything that was talked about last night? Uh, something about my Ambien, I think. 
Nope, but, you Well, know. Uh, yeah, Almost. you can't take it tonight because right. um, Tabitha had a vision and yep. uh, Dad's going to get killed. So yep. we need to prevent that. And to do that, you need to not be taking your Ambien. You need to be awake. What do you need? What do you need me for? Who knows? To not be involved in the yeah, could death you, part of I, the I, night. I, I want you to imagine. You wake up Christmas morning, your husband dead, fucking chest ripped open by a scythe. How was she, Christmas for you then? Uh, she looks... She, she's got a little bit of experience with the supernatural demons, and so she... Well, that much. <laughs> after, after hearing all this, uh, she does actually start to take it seriously and um, she looks at you, Tabitha. How do you have these visions often? Oh, like once every six months. I don't remember the last time we played. <laughs> so I'm, ju- I, I, I'm just like, are you, I mean, I've I've had dreams of like my teeth falling out, right? And they've never. Oh fallen no! Out all yet. the things that I have dreams of and visions of are real and come true usually. That's why I try to prevent them. Yeah, these aren't bad dreams. Great question. Some of our friends went to go check out what happened down at Almost Heaven. The heart attack? Oh, that was not a heart attack. That was not a heart attack. Um, Some Ghost of Christmas Past bullshit cut some guy open. It's Ghost of Future. Future. You're right. Ghost of Future bullshit. Yeah. (laughs) Ghost of Future Some ghostly... Yeah. I thing. I feel like Tabitha's gonna be on Ghost of Christmas fu- Future in next this year. This was yet she's to like, come. Yeah, that one. <laughs> to change her ways, and she's like gonna be like, no, bitch. Ghost of Christmas <laughs> yet to come. I've, yeah, I've got the Christmas Carol book right here. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It's one of my so, favorites. Uh, well, I guess you're gonna meet your heroes. Yeah. And as you say that, Don and Gobbo walking through the front door. <laughs> yes. Uh, with, yes. With, with the ghost of, of uh, Christmas past. Oh, yes, accompanied by a widow girl. Boy. I'm a little boy. A boy. A, boy. a boy, girl, whatever. I don't fucking know. <laughs> well, Hello, that, that explains nice. a lot about Larry. I was nice. about to say exactly the same thing. <laughs> yeah. um, who the fuck is that? Yeah, we That's can't... the ghost of Christmas past. Hello. This is a Christmas Carol. Oh, present. Hi. I don't fucking know. Present's usually a big honking dude. I don't. I, I don't read okay, no fucking so, books. Okay, so um, hi, Come Ghost. On. How are you doing? Hello, I'm doing very good. Nice to meet you. Nice. Nice to, to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. And so, that's it. Oh, and nice to meet you too. I didn't see you over there in the corner. <laughs> Are you okay, uh, Adam Sandler? Jesus fucking Christ! Are you here to help save my dad? Back to school. Back to school. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm here to save um, Preston Brown the third, who the neglects third? his family. Your dad neglects oh. you? Fuck! Even my I... dad sends a Christmas card once in a while. Really? It, oh. It's a it's a very terrifying thing that happens. <laughs> Hopefully, it doesn't happen when when we're here. Oh, I so, want to see this. Oh, I hope he sends one. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> That'll be interesting for your mom, right? <laughs> Shut up. She gets Don, a Christmas card. Don, Don, please don't touch your mouth. So, um, what do we need to do? Yeah. Okay, so we need a bunch of stuff to do the witch roll. So you need um, mistletoe, ornaments, Christmas okay. sweaters, Adam? elf on the shelf, fruit quake, fruit cake, rather. Fruit uh, quake? <laughs> Christmas, <laughs> uh, Christmas carol music seats, um, and then also okay. the actual Christmas carol books. Okay. Um, we are montaging around this cabin, getting it because we yes. have twenty. We got everything gathered. Yeah. So, um, it's speaking Christmas of montaging, montage. uh, how we're gonna montage this is that uh, Gabo and Don got the uh, Christmas Carol book from mm-hmm. the previous cabin. Um, the Christmas Carol music sheets 
or on the piano that is in the living space. Uh, mistletoe Don had already had. Um, ornaments. These thing. These cabins have been decorated for Christmas, so there is a Christmas tree you're able to take ornaments from. Christmas sweaters. I think Kiki said. Uh, yeah. Um. Well, they were supposed to be for tonight for us to all unwrap it underneath the tree together. But here, I got sweaters for everyone. So. We could definitely use mine in this ritual. Does it burn? <laughs> <laughs> yes, burning is involved. Was... Cool. Yeah, I, I just thanks. Throw it in I, the pile. I figured. Okay. You, 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 See, you, it's you a very useful gift. You tried, Kiki, and no one can blame <sighs> you. What? Okay, wait. What color is mine? What does it look like? Would Tabitha it hate it? Is black. Oh man. Good start. And it's got like dark gray as a little tiny Santa hat just up at the top, like a pocket patch sort of thing. Like, super subtle because I know my half-sister. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you also handed her a pink hat and scarf, <laughs> so I was worried. Trying to introduce some color into your wardrobe, but... Fuck. That's like I... trying to introduce color into DB's wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a DB in, not, in, in something other than black. <laughs> I have. I have a couple times. Yeah. So is Adam. He's just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Adam. He tries. No, it's fine. So, I walked into my friend's house and he didn't notice that my hair was a completely different color. So <laughs> anyway, the um, one thing that I will probably need an argument for is the elf on a shelf. Kiki always oh, has one. Kiki brought one. It's actually sitting above the mantle right now. Do you move She's... it every night for... Yeah, I'm sure she does. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> Hold on. And just in case one of my kids watch this. Uh, I mean, does it move does every night? Does it move every night? <laughs> it travels. It goes back to the North Pole every night to report to Santa. Cool. Awesome. All Fantastic. the language and references. Fucking knock. Yeah, fucking <laughs> knock. Um, I, like, why are you not getting anything? Liam Seriously, did listen why, to... Why, why, uh, do you, why do you invite the Tattletale Fae into the house? It's a bad idea. Liam listened plan. to Magic Village for Sale because that was the only one-shot onslaught episode that had no curse words at all. So I let him listen to that We one. should try to do that next year for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. No, but, well, not with these characters, Don't play then. dumb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, Jeremy. You just get bleeped every time. <laughs> Jeremy, come back. Here. Must be a cat. Well, <laughs> okay, so Imagine montage. Like a magician. <laughs> yep. You all gather the supplies, and we will fast forward to nighttime. So, who's Christmas singing the carols? I. <laughs> Should have um, been a montage. By the way, uh, Preston. Been a montage. Preston doesn't believe any of this. Doesn't listen at all. Preston is still just working away at his laptop up in the master bedroom. Well, like you cannot reason with him. He is just—he does not. Kiki. It's all just nonsense to him. Do what's you, the Chris, What's the Christmas Carol? Everyone knows. Do you want me to smash his laptop? Let's smash it, just close I it mean, and take it away. I mean, but if I, I smash I it, I would you like that, away. but he'll just get another one. I'll work on him through the year. Okay. <laughs> so I, I'm I'm picturing uh, the ritual area. Um, probably the living space is the biggest area. Yeah. So it wouldn't that would have probably to be, be like near the tree. Yeah, of next course. to the big Christmas. I feel like and this is a, be next to the giant Christmas this tree. This is a really big, like a 13-foot tall Christmas tree. Oh. Uh, because these are arch ceilings in the living space uh, that lead up to the Tabitha's little uh, nook in the attic. Um, so, uh, yeah, next to that Christmas tree, everybody can kind of, like, spread the couches away from the TV and set all the items around the center um so with all of that set i think we're ready to begin the ritual um who so for this ritual it is going to be a big magic of course and for this big magic it is going to require three 
uh, what, what's it called? Uh, casters, channelers. Uh, mm -hmm. It's going to require three people for this big magic. Uh, I'm trying are to all singing? Um, Tabitha. Yes. <laughs> I don't know yes, this big carols. magic uh, for the Christmas carol is going to require three Let's people singing uh, the chant. That's kind of like the incantation. Yeah, I, am, no. I am not even remotely magical, but I will sing a Christmas carol. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm negative one weird, and I, I know Christmas Same. carols, but... <laughs> so, for this, we will just need to pick three of you all. You do not need to necessarily be magically in inclined, except for at least one I'll, person. Oh, I'll fuck, see, I'll okay. sing, I'll sing live, I don't care, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm magical, I'll sing. Okay. I... Yeah. Kiki, do, Kiki, do you want it or? I don't really, but I'll do I'll it. Do it. You'll do it. Okay, cool. I'm swapping we'll to you. the. I'm swapping to the. Doesn't really want to say her dad. I'm swapping to the more right creepy epic music <laughs> for this. So, so it, it sounds like. Is it a caster that has to roll, or so, so are sorry. you just rolling to help? Uh, I'm sorry. I was swapping to the music, and uh, I I know I I heard uh, Don Tabitha. is Tabitha. Don, Don and was it Kiki or Kelly? Kelly. Kelly. Uh, so Tabitha, Kelly, and Don are going to be the ones that are actually channeling this magic. We just need one big magic roll. I guess I'll do it. Yeah, I, I mean, think you're, you're the magic. Yeah. You're the only one with magic. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. God rest ye merry gentlemen. Let nothing yeah. you now. dismay. Yeah. Lord Jesus Christ, yeah. our Savior, was born on Christmas Day. He saved us all from Satan's power when we had gone astray. And it's tidings of comfort and joy. Comfort and joy. And it's tidings of comfort and joy. Um, twelve. Nice. Wow. Excellent. <laughs> plus, plus two. 14. Holy shit, Don, where'd that come from? <laughs> <laughs> I was a fucking altar boy. So Yeah, I bet. Of course that you were. Ah. so much. <laughs> while Tabitha and Kelly and Don are singing these Christmas carols, that's all going to be going on just in the background. Because uh, you all see the giant pop into view. Oh, hey, uh, <laughs> didn't expect to see you six here. That guy in there didn't listen to me at all. And uh, the little boy ghost uh, looks at you and says, Oh, no, if, if the giant's back, then that means that any minute now, the spooky one's going to come. Wait, there's a one that's more spooky than this guy? Didn't the, yeah. did the big... Nice, nice giant guy. Yeah, the big spooky. He looks like a big, like Gwen Weaver guy. I don't know. I mean, you're kind of, you're kind of spooky to be honest. I don't yeah. know I'm, a little, I'm a little boy. Oh, Why can't matter. you just die and move on? Because we help Sorry. people. Yeah, we help well. people find the air in their nerve. ways. And we help them move on to a better life. But okay. nobody's been listening this year. Past. And now my friends been murdering people. Well, yeah. Christmas passed. Did we do the ritual? You three are still doing the ritual. Sing it, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. But what do you want me to do, Casper? I mean, hell. I'm trying to help here. But why don't you tell your friends to just chill it out a little bit? You all hear... Before you see anything... Uh, you just hear this the wicked laugh. <laughs> oh, fuck. And the door to <laughs> the door to the master bedroom slammed shut. Uh oh. I Are bet you're used to that, huh, Kiki's mom? <laughs> oh, fuck. I sure I hope this guy doesn't have hooks for hands. We don't want to fight a troll with hooks for hands. Not this time of year, believe me. It's not a very nice Forever. guy. Plus, I owe him 20 bucks. <laughs> We're still maintaining the song, just keeping it going. Yes. Gabo. Where's Gabo at right now? I'm, like, to the side watching them sing, talking to this ghost. Right 
behind you materializes this tall, towering figure that is in this dark gray black robe. Cannot see his face. He's got these bony gray white fingers. And it is going to grab you around in this like cold embrace from behind. And it's going to try to slash at you. Um, well, no, it's a, I, I, I'm, I'm still a noob at uh, uh, GMing for um, Monster of the Week, so it's just going <laughs> to slash at you for uh, two harm, Gabo. That's not... Okay. Incorrect. You get off my goblin, son! Let nothing you dismay, <laughs> and it's tidings <laughs> of comfort and joy. Comfort and joy. But you're saying it attacks me. Yes, oh, it has appeared behind you enjoy. and just uh, used its sickle and sliced like right into your leg for too far. Well, I'm going to try to help my friend with my nunchucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My Christmas nunchucks, they have sparkles on them now. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I'm gonna go, ah, my little chicken legs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kiki, uh, roll to kick some ass. Uh, that? Let's try rolling that again. Real quick, uh, with Tabitha's uh, good weird roll and their chanting of the spell, this figure is starting to go from this incorporeal looking uh, translucent vis- visage and it's starting to get more and more solid the more that they chant and more that they sing these Christmas carols out. Don reaches into his waistband and tosses the 9mm pistol over to Gobbo while he's singing. Uh, uh, I'm grabbing him. I don't know if this thing's gonna help. Fucking shoot the ghost. (laughs) If two of the words are it won't work, you nasty, nasty man. I think what I actually would do is turn around and, I mean, if, if he's like right there and he like hit me at the thing, I would like try to scratch him. And that's like my main attack. Okay, like, roll, ah! kick, so, roll kick some ass. All right. So Which, my kick some ass was 12. Ooh. Oh, yeah, it was. Damn. And uh, I want to... What are my options? I can do maximum Terri- damage with that or double harm, damage. Or you can take no harm or you can yeah, put let's them where you want them. Do terrible harm. Okay. So my normal harm is two, so terrible would be four. Wow. Yeah. Let me see what like These are good launcher. Christmas nunchucks. Yeah. Let's look at your nail launcher damage. Real quick. Four, <laughs> 11. And 11. Oh, so you also will get to. Uh, okay. Um, I mean, so- do I. Can I choose to take no harm? and not get slashed in my chicken legs with a scythe? No, uh, no, or so is... that was, um, it, it had a, like a, a, a move it did that did that. Oh, like a preemptive um, ability. But okay. whenever you, whenever, whenever you roll kicks some ass, you also, um, get damage done to you unless you roll well enough or you, okay. um, uh, pick the certain, uh, conditions. So, uh, as this ghostly eight foot tall figure uh, just scratches into Gaba's legs, uh, Kiki runs up with her Christmas nunchucks and it's like flickering between completely being translucent to a solid figure from their Christmas chanting and their Christmas ritual. And, um,. So you inflicted terrible harm, Kiki, right? So for four, yes. um, you run up to it, and as soon as it solidifies, uh, you <laughs> hit it right in the face with your Christmas nunchucks. Um, and it glitter kind everywhere. Of, glitter goes flying everywhere, and it kind of recoils back a little bit, and it flashes back to uh, translucent. But then for just a moment, it flashes back solid again, and Gabo, uh, what was yours? You, uh... You got an 11. An 11. And what did you pick for your... Um, I think I'm gonna pick... 
I mean, I'm, try I'm trying to attack him in response to him attacking me, so I guess inflict terrible harm. Okay. My claws uh, do three damage. You, uh... Just normally, so I don't know what terrible harm means. So plus two, I think. So five damage. A, ter a terrible harm is, is plus one, sorry. Oh, no, plus one. Four damage. It. Okay. I, I have the thing open. Okay. Uh, See, I get him for four, I guess, with my yeah. claws. So I, even for, like, cutting, I can like perfectly cut an onion. A nice <laughs> session. Of course you can. Is it uh, with my claws solidifies, and you get a uh, break right across its chest. It sees how dire the situation is. Like, was not expecting any kind of resistance, especially from a uh, goblin and somebody with some nunchucks. Um, it vanishes for a moment and reappears into the center of the ritual circle. And it picks up the book of the Christmas carols. And just in an instant, it erupts into flames. And it goes back invisible, and you cannot see the fake of the ghost anymore. No, that's Charles Dickens' classic. And you three can feel the ritual getting weaker now that you are missing this ingredient of the original, of the Christmas Carol stories. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like turn and point at, at at where Kiki's mom said that her copy of the book was because that was a copy that was stolen from the other cabin. So this, so Kiki's mom has a copy. And yeah, like I'm... turn turn and point and like gesture at Kiki. Get, I, I, I'm not, I'll, I'm I'll not grab that book. Thing, but I'm telling her, please get the thing. Yeah, I will grab that book because I I listened to the ingredient list. Yeah, Kiki, you run into your parents bedroom and again you see your dad with his big headphones on just Mother working fucker. away at his laptop does <laughs> not know anything that's going on at the moment slam um, the laptop on his fingers <laughs> well I, I grab the charles dickens book and i grab another one and chuck it at his head as i'm running out of the room yes <laughs> uh yeah the the christmas carol book was on the nightstand your mom's side of the bed the nightstand ran up and grabbed it and then there was a uh there's a bookshelf next to it also it's filled with like the cabins you know kind of like cliche books uh and there was like a web search dictionary there that you could grab and like chuck at your dad yes um he deserves it yeah he does so come back in geeky you're able to throw that back into the center of the ritual circle and um Uh, Adam, you have three minutes. Three minutes. Um, Do we win? <laughs> Gamo I mean, te and Ga technically twelve. You're fine. Oh, okay, okay. 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 Yeah, it's Tiana. We're uh, trying to be. Con uh, Tiana's the fly in the ointment. I, I always am on Fridays. That's that's why yes. we. That's why I like start early. <laughs> you can't get me for longer. Christmas is ruined. <laughs> Christmas is terribly sorry that I'm the one ruining your Christmas. Well, just by your absence. Aww. Uh, this figure that was, that was unspeakably sweet. Thank you. <laughs> this figure, uh, I guess at this point we can go ahead and call it the Christmas of uh, the the spirit of Christmas yet to come. Um, after Kiki comes back out of the the master bedroom and throws the door into the circle of ritual. Um, the door is left open, and you oh, all shit. see in the doorway the figure holding Preston around the neck with the sickle in its other arm right at its neck. Our and singing intensifies? It, yeah. It says... Singing intensifies. Stop. No! All is calm, all, all is bright. bright. You see it starting to break away. You 
three make. I'll give everybody one more chance, but it looks, or one more thing that you were all uh, five would like to do, but it looks like this spirit is indeed about to cash in on its threat and it's about to finish Preston. I'm gonna punch this other ghost in the face when we're done because he lied to us. Is it, it is uh, the, the ghost of uh, uh, Christmas future or Christmas yet to come, is it still basically corporeal? Um, right now it's still kind of flashing in and out. I'm I'm gonna keep singing. I'm gonna intensify my own magic into this fucking ritual if I have to. Um I'm How is it got my dad? Has it gotten uh, like a round one arm is holding Preston tight. The other arm has the sickle to his neck, and it seems to be it it does seem to be a little worried right now, and you think that the only reason that your dad is still living right now is because it is trying to use him as a bargaining chip to get the other three to stop chanting. Hey, skeleton dude, let him go. <laughs> if you don't, you're absolutely getting banished. So if I let him go, you'll stop. Probably not, but it'll hurt less. And, and I'm swinging my nunchucks around. <laughs> What's Gabo doing? It's the other three are chanting. And and this guy's in the middle of them still, right? Um, this guy is currently in the doorway of the master bedroom, holding Preston. Um, how far is he from me? Because, I mean, he was there, he teleported, teleported. Uh, well, so you're probably by the Christmas tree, so you're probably maybe like 10 feet from him at the corner at an angle. Hmm. I'm just gonna go. Hey! Let him go! And I sprint like the flash. In my <laughs> flash hoodie. And I run over as fast as I can. I'm going to leap onto him. And this time I'm going to actually try to bite him, which is my most powerful attack. Oh, okay. This will definitely be... The one with be... three harm is not your most powerful? Well I, get, well, I get plus one to my... I have unholy strength. So I get... Or something like that. Yeah. So I get a plus... No, that let me use kick ass... Yeah, I can use weird instead of tough. That's what it is. So I'm like okay. super good at it. And then I get an additional plus one. So, I'm yeah. going to roll it. Okay. Hopefully I don't mess it up. 3, 9, 10, 11. Um, so, oh. yeah, 11 to hit. 11, Wait. and that was, was that kick some ass? Yep. Uh, 10 plus, choose one extra effect. You gain the advantage, you inflict terrible harm, you suffer less harm, you force them where you want them to be. Can I force them to be away from that person? Away from the kid? Push them in the circle. Not the kid, but you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Can I push them all the way to the circle, or is that too far away? No, it's pretty close to the circle, actually. Okay, then yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll try to get them where I want them to be. So, uh, so maybe I don't just straight up bite him. Maybe I, he's scared of me. Maybe I actually messed him up last time. So he's like, kind of thinks I'm dangerous. So I'm like, ah, and I'm like all feral and like acting like a crazy. <laughs> goblin You're actually monster. acting like a goblin. Yeah. And, uh, a, ter a terrifying dog. I'm like, let him go. <laughs> I was thinking of Gremlins. Yeah. <laughs> Gabo is like Another Christmas favorite. movie. Um, I haven't seen that. Start foaming at the mouth and stuff. Oh. You kind of get the... I, I the, know. You kind of get the jump on him, Gabo, from the angle that you are on the doorway. And uh, it seems like the spirit's kind of focused on Kiki at the moment, who was, like, taunting him. Or taunting it. And as you run up and grab it, you're able to sink your claws into its back, kind of like rip it away from Preston, 
and throw it into the center of this banishment circle. And the other three singing their Christmas carols. You start to see it just from the top of his head down start to just like a like a glass of water that has a hole in the bottom of it like just draining down you see its figure start to slowly just disappear and it doesn't even get a chance to like let out a scream or anything uh, before the last of it all just drips away and sleep in heavenly peace motherfucker it looks like you it looks like you got my one of my two twins. Good job, everybody. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. I wish you he's, didn't have to be like he's that. He's not dead, though, right? You can, like, talk some sense into him for next year? Yeah, he'll be back next year for sure. At The day after Thanksgiving. That's when Christmas spirit oh, really starts to pop off. Okay, okay. He'll be back then. Um, I guess I'll try to say, hey, you don't want to get murdered again. So don't be murdering people. He usually, hey everybody, I think you're thinking like he's like a really bad guy. He usually doesn't murder people. This was what, like a one-off year. Any yeah, idea? Why. Any idea why he he went off the deep end a bit today or this this year? Well, I know he kept talking to us about how people never change their ways, and we always do this big spooky bit and scare people every night, and then. They're usually like wooey wooey good the next day that they wake up. But then like day number two, they just go back to the same same shit. Don't tell the big don't tell the big giant I said the S word. I just look at the big giant. He uh he's like he's looking at a pan. Just like Oh it's a nice pan. Don't you yeah, he's that. he's very I interested right. in like a bunch of random stuff. Don't you don't need to bother with him. Just don't tell my cursed. I'll get in a lot of trouble. We won't say anything. Hey, do you want some more friends? I would love that. I mean, we're friends with a goblin. We're pretty, we're pretty open. Yeah. Um, as you were trying to make friends with this ghost guy, you see a portal open up in the floor. And a bunch of like random tentacles come out. And you oh, no, no, I don't want, I don't like tentacles. <laughs> Please take them away. I just grabbed my Christmas card and put it in my pocket. Thanks, Dad! And it closes. Hey, look, it's a letter from your ex. I said, like, don't test the Kiki's one. And... Uh, she saw that, didn't she? Oh, yeah, she saw that. He's out here. But... And we'll just... From there, uh, <laughs> because I know Tiana's got a stream or something in about three minutes, uh, let's go ahead and it's Tiana... It's a home game. Uh, oh, it's a home game. Let's, okay. Let's, uh, let's just imagine what happened after that. <laughs> yes, everybody. That's like, yeah. lost everybody's imagination. Uh, there's, Tiana, there's a whole, no, a whole long family discussion that happens after. Oh, that. there so is. Now oh, we've got all our cards on the table. Tiana, Thanks, you go ahead Don. and plug all of your stuff first. Uh, where can people find you at? Who me? Yes. Are you? Yeah, me. I thought you said Jeremy. Okay. Hi, I'm Tiana. I am most commonly found over at Questing Chaos. That's twitch.tv slash Questing Chaos. You probably know all about that. The really thing that I, the really big thing that I want to plug right now is that I'm launching a new podcast. The first episode is out on Wednesday, and I am very excited about it. It's the Redacted Reports, and we are playing uh, Delta Green. So Call of Cthulhu, but in the modern era, where um, we're at least marginally more professional than uh, most Call of Cthulhu characters. I uh, mo Mostly we just signed up for it. That's the real big difference. <laughs> um, and we're very excited about it. Um, yeah, it's, ah, we've been working on this since August and it's actually coming out and I'm very excited and very nervous. We It's an actual play podcast, um, but with editing for, for clarity, when people start talking over each other, I can get rid of most of the voices and uh, with sound effects and music added in. It's an actually produced podcast, which I don't usually do, so this is fun. So yeah, yeah that's the big one. It is uh, The Redacted Reports. It's on uh, facebook.com slash The Redacted Reports for all of the um, info and updates and stuff like that. Check it out. 
Yeah, I listened to the Session Zero posted on pa the Patreon for like a sneak peek, and holy cow, it does sound very good. You can definitely tell that Tiana is a professional voice actor. Uh, it was very, very good. Um, hey, I'm, glad, I'm glad you liked it. I play the team lead, Agent Rowan, so I was the one doing most of the talking besides the handler, Tom Ogos. Yes. Um, and Dragonbait. Dragonbait, where can people find you at? When you're not oh. uh, keep, creeper keeping, creeper keeping for us. Um, you can find me over at Twenty Sided Adventures. Um, you can also find me over at the Nerd Asylum now. Uh, and uh, you should definitely check out every project that's going on there. They have a lot going on. Uh, I'm also the creeper keeper here, obviously. Um, and yeah, check out all of the stuff. And Danny. Well, uh, you can find me all over the internet as Danielle Lenoir. Um, you can check out my website, thefandomknitter.com, and see the stuff that I've been knitting. Um, you can find me on Roll for Weird here. You can find me on That's Pretty Crafty every other Tuesday here. Uh, you can find me hanging out on the uh, Majestic Goose Discord. And Jeremy? Um, you can find... <clears throat> Excuse me. You can find me at Dice Talk on Twitter or Instagram. That's where I am the most active. I'm also on Discord uh, lurking about, and I sometimes respond. Um, uh, you can, uh, you should check out Dice Talk, which is a podcast that Jerundu and I host together where we interview a whole bunch of cool people, and we have some discussions related to tabletop role-playing games. Also, this Wednesday, we have an episode coming out where, just like Tiana, it will be an actual play uh, called Cthulhu episode, and it is the final. Uh, neat! Oh, neat! Um, this is the fourth and final episode in our little mini series that we've been doing. Um, that show. features Danny and uh, Rachel and Jerundu and myself. Um, so it's the it's the climax. It's the most act, the most action packed episode, and it is the end of our little mini series. So go check that out, and that's Dice Talk. And then last, but certainly not least, Jerundu. Um, you can, I'm Jerundu, you can find me on Twitter at Jerundu, that's G-I-R-U-N-D-U-U. -U. You can find me on Roll for Weird, a Silas Lancaster generally. You can find me tomorrow, in fact, live. As oh, Diablo shit. Pendergrass and Shitty Cowboys. <laughs> uh, you can find me live again every Monday night as... Uh, Flex Gristle, uh, <laughs> co-hosting Motorsports Sport Association alongside my good friend, and certainly not uh, my lover, uh, Razor Murger. Oh, wait, are you two shipped again? I don't know. I'm just... <laughs> I've been drinking. I just realized... I ship it. I ship it hard. Drinking yep. and dreaming. I just realized that we've got shitty cowboys tomorrow night, and I have not... <laughs> Is it going to be Christmas? No, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. Um, I don't know, wow. though. I literally have in the not West. started prepping that. I prepped for this, uh, as in I asked Five Danny for ago. her parents' names. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Just, uh, uh, just do what you normally do. Just referee me while I take control. Yeah. Uh, yeah, accurate. It works. <laughs> the, the most, I mean, obviously, just check out MajesticGoose.com to find all of our shows. Um, we're up to podcast. Let me see if I get them all. Uh, we've got One Shot Onslaught, Half Way to Heroes, Roll for Weird, Shitty Cowboys, Dice Talk. I think those are our five podcasts at the moment. And then for our Twitch streams, we have got... Um, I'll double dip because we've got uh, Roll for Weird. It's also a Twitch stream. Uh, we've got Shitty Cowboys, also a Twitch stream. Modris Bloodsport Association NBA, also a Twitch stream. Um, or not a podcast, though. And uh, Solo Rolling, which is a Twitch stream. And then I also will DM one shots for our patrons uh, at it's least once a month. Um, and then it's we've pretty got Pretty Crafty, crafty uh, every other uh, <laughs> Tuesday. And um, that's what we've got right now. In the future, we have got one new podcast that I uh, will be called Lord Snore that I'm still oh. actively working on. And then a when do you sleep? Well, and then we've got a Twitch during stream. the day for like seventeen hours. <laughs> that's true. His and, job pays him to sleep. And then uh. we've got a Twitch stream slash 
actual play sh uh, Shiver tabletop RPG that is currently in the works. Yes. That is a maybe right now, but we've gotten some really strong um, uh, applications to join that team. So that may be a real poss possibility, at least like a maybe a six month uh, short term thing, uh, which will be a Can Twitch stream I fit and that into podcast my schedule. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I was ex thinking exactly the same thing. Like, <laughs> shit. Oh, it, I, and the only reason uh, I'm even throwing that out there is because I've had this idea in my mind for a while now that has been like keeping me up at night. I've been thinking of, and I've got a full like three pages of notes on it. Um, I'm so proud of that's you. That's a lot of notes. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, like half of here is like 57 pages of notes. Um, Total. Total, yeah, total so Since far. Since the beginning, but it's about to end. So yeah, but this yeah. for being three pages of notes as a maybe project is a lot. <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah, um, we will see. Um, but yeah, so just check okay. out the Majestic Goose Network. Uh, go to majesticgoose.com yeah. and uh, follow us on Twitch if you're not yet. And with all that out of the way, Tiana needs to get going. So everybody, we will see you all tomorrow night on Shitty Cowboys. Bye, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas from the Roll for Weird group. Merry Christmas. Merry I need Christmas. to go prep for tomorrow, Sorry, we so apparently. We Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>